I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before, all's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins. Text me anymore. I wish they would've helped you text back sooner. Thought I opened up a door. I guess I closed the one that kept our future. Why am I always the one that does the changing? I lost myself trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things. I wish I'd never cut my hair Called all night Never let you love The songs I liked Always get too close and let me down I wish I'd never let us fall in love I wish I never grew it out The way you say Cause now I'm so damn close to going insane When I look in my camera every day I wish I never let us fall out I still got my hurt in you I know you wait often as I'm gone I guess you take the things you want And leave me feeling like the lonely one Why am I always the one that does the changing? I lost myself Trying to fix what's wrong when you go do the same things I wish I never cut my hair Called all night Never let you love the songs I love and let me down I wish I never let us fall in love I wish I never grew it out The way you say Cause now I'm so damn close To going insane When I look in my camera every day I wish I never let us fall out Wish I knew better than to take your crying As a 
sign for me to change. I gave her all and now I'm barely fine with the memories hovering on my face. Wish I knew better than to take your crying as a sign for me to change. I gave her all and now I'm barely fine with the things I do every day. I I never cut my hair cold all night. Never let you love the songs I love. You gotta settle down, feel your breathing start to shake up. Just gotta hear me out. No, it doesn't have to be your fault. Oh, you try to tell me I'm a broken one. Baby, shut up, don't wanna talk about it Don't wanna let it out I know it's too much to handle No, you just want it to stop Happy Easter, <clears throat> just like the second coming of Jesus, we are gathered here today. No, I'm <laughs> before I get myself in too much trouble and we talk about sacrilegious things, listen, <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's having a good Easter, that you guys got to spend time with either family or loved ones or friends, etc. Um, my family's getting back tonight sometime between six and seven o'clock. So today's stream is not going to be the absolute marathons we've had the last few days. Probably only going to be somewhere between four and a half and five and a half hours. Uh, we'll see. 
Uh, but hey, that's still a pretty long stream. So I'm excited. Let's dive into it, guys. Control has been just, oh man, it's been such a fun ride. Last yesterday was, oh God, dude. I just, ooh, I felt like I, I feel like, this, can I say this? Can I, can I, can I make a shitty pun? I feel like I have gotten into the combat and the flow of the game so much, even though I died a bunch. Listen, we're not going to talk about that. I feel like I am in control, you know? I just, the, the gameplay is so much fun in this game. And then the story and the lore keep you hooked in. So I'm excited. We left off, if you remember, we had just talked to our brother Dylan in the executive sector for the first time he was in the cage. He has been, um, co-opted or taken over by the hiss but he's not as violent yet or as fucked up as the other hiss controlled people that we've come across and he gave us a whole bunch of revelations right he essentially uh told us that the uh ordinary town which is where jesse and dylan are from the awe that happened there the altered world event um potentially either created jesse and dylan in some way like maybe they were one person and it split them or it cloned them or something or i don't know some weird shit we talked about mr door from the alan wake universe and how he's this intradimensional entity like literally exists between dimensions and universes and he can open doors or gateways between them all and basically go wherever he wants that was pretty crazy tons of revelations at the end of the last stream about dylan and jesse and the hiss in the game and it just mind blown right like so many things so and now uh jesse is basically not jesse sorry dylan has told us to go back to the prime candidate program right uh the area where he was that area um and discover the ugly truth about the bureau so maybe the bureau and the black pyramid the board are not who we think they are and they have a secret to hide or something. I don't know. I think potentially it's the Hiss fucking with us. But there could be some subverting our expectations here. And there could be... I mean, obviously the Bureau does fucked up shit, right? But it's all in the name, like the SCP Foundation. It's all in the name of keeping the general public safe. And keeping altered items from messing with our reality, our dimension, right? So... Well, welcome everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. I saw Mr. Diamante in here. Um, did I see any of the other mods? I saw Mr. Diamante, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Hannah, good to have you. Appreciate you're here while you can. You can't stay. No worries, Hannah. I totally understand. It's Easter. I expect a smaller, more intimate audience today because it's Easter. I'm sure people are spending time with their families as they should be. So if you're watching this later, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Anyway. Josh G, welcome. Goober, good to have you. Thanks for joining. Carrie, Osiris, Drake, Knight Rider, Joseph Sanchez, Natish K, Freaky Sky CJ, James McAllister, Nico. I think I might have already said Nico. Sorry, Nico. I always tell you twice, but hey. Michael Kanan, T Ryan 48, Ali, good to have you. Judas Goat Barbecue, welcome. <laughs> Long Pig Lunchable, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Izu, good to have you. Thanks for being here. All right. Hey, so we just got to the level six key card from Dylan, essentially, or the ability to do level six. And um, we need to cleanse and contain this last runaway altered item, the mannequin. And we needed the level six key card to do that. That's a little side mission. So we're going to do that first. Um, but before we do, we now have this ability here on Astral Constructs to uh, create jukebox tokens. And we actually have one in our inventory and we don't know what it is. We have a mission to talk to Mr. Aresh over here and uh, learn about this. So let's go ahead and do that. I have no idea what this is. The jukebox was an altered item that we came across, but we really couldn't interact with it. It was behind the glass, right? I found this. So let's see what he says. Any idea what it does? Ah, uh, that is a jukebox token. Is Little it? bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Yep. Does it have any good songs? <laughs> nope. Just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? What the hell is the formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but 
Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, it's weird. Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay, so hold on. I think uh, we've talked to him about all of these, right? Hold on, let's let's double check. How does the bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put no, it. No, I don't think we have. Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take What's samples. What's up, Skilker? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Because it's from uh, yeah, another a dimension? Time find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. <laughs> I don't know that that's water. Water shouldn't have little chunks in it, bro. That doesn't, that doesn't track. Hey, what's up, Jeff Duncan? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yes, so we haven't spoken to him about all this. You're so let's security, go through. Right? Let's go through. See what he has to say. Do you work say. with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Cognitive collapse. That sounds scary. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research. Loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good um, uh, been description a of him. Recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding darling will lead us <laughs> to the HR told answers. me not to use the word psycho. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? <laughs> What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. <laughs> Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. I like it. You know, I like a Rish more the more I talk to him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. He seems like he's got his head on straight, unlike most of the fucking people here. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. That's weird. Typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. So, reminder, Marshall is the older black woman with the gray kind of small, uh, really neatly kept afro. She's the head of the Rangers, right? Which is like the expeditionary force of the of the Bureau. They're highly trained. They go across thresholds, which thresholds are entrances or gateways into other dimensions or other realities, right? And they investigate altered items, places of power, objects of power in other dimensions up close, right? Or they investigate building shifts and stuff like that. So that's who that is, just as a reminder. Have we haven't too. talked to her You're in a bit. She was here? Home. She was in this. the executive area somewhere, but now that Aresh has mentioned that she disappears often, she was where Aresh was previously. She's not there, and she's not... What can I help with? That's really weird. She's also not in the boardroom. Do you have more dialogue that I didn't do? How are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. Oh, now that I've talked to Dylan, I'm she fine. does. Okay. What can you tell me? Is he still... Human? Or is he his? 
I think he's a combo. I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? How he talks, what he says. I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total his takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. Does that change anything? That's weird. Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. But again, this is new territory for me. I'll need time. You won't but okay. Have I'm going to shut down this live projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. Better that than what Dylan is now. <laughs> Damn, she's like, I'm, I'm okay with it, down. bro. <laughs> this has to end. Whatever happens, happens. God damn. She's just very nonchalant okay, about that. Just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Emily. All right. Any more before we move on? I don't think so, but let's just double check. Hi, Jesse. Working with Darling, studying Dylan, Jesse. Okay, yeah. There's a few more. I've been seeing these Darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the He's very dramatic. Class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. Hey, he's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. <laughs> I wonder who else Darling it is worth. Isn't entropy and luck kind of the same Marshall? thing, right? Am I wrong? Trench. I don't know. My physics is a little rush rusty, but I think entropy and luck I mean, luck is just like the non-scientific name for ent entropy, kind of, right? Similar concepts, not, not exactly. I know I'm, I know I'm glossing over probably a lot of like hardcore physics explanation of it, of entropy, but you know. Have you learned anything about Dylan's condition? Only that he's definitely his, but I guess his chanting made that pretty obvious. You know, interestingly, the words of the hiss incantation have an average length of four letters. The most common word used seven times is want. The next most common are through and time. They want to move through Very time. Interesting. Don't Destroy you think? everything. I don't care about the words. <laughs> what about my brother? I just want to shoot shit. Right. Sorry. I got a little off track. Well, What's up, Alan Heath? Welcome to the stream. Health. Thanks for joining. Unlike Leon, good to interest. have you. Paid to be here. Welcome. That's Thanks for joining. Good news. Right? Osiris, good to see you. Appreciate you being here. Uh, all right, Jesse, one last thing. I wanted to talk to you about the crazy things I did. <clears throat> it's from the Objects My of Power. Abilities. I get the sense that they're not very usual around here. Well, usual and unusual aren't really benchmarks at the Bureau, but... For some perspective, Director Northmore once used the floppy disk to send a bowling ball six yards through the air, and that was considered a huge deal. So compared to that, you are most certainly an outlier. Okay. An outlier. So the, I like the sound of that. So the ordinary... I should get going. Uh, Don't let me hold you Ordinary is the town that Jesse and Dylan are from, right? The altered world event there, and however... and. The result of that, Jesse getting Polaris in her head, that has somehow made us like this super extra powerful para utilitarian who can use all of these, um, use all of these, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Objects of power to like do incredible things that others, even who others who are para utilitarian can't necessarily do, right? Very interesting. 
You have I more to I say? I told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway. What's up, Gaelic point. Devil? Welcome. What's up, host Sway? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. Then they've already so they been turned, worst, brother. I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? <laughs> uh, sure, ma'am. They come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. And we'll have to kill him. That's right. Old I friends. Okay. Me too. Another yeah, side quest. Busy, you know. Goddamn. All right. Go we're here in Central Executive. So before we go do the mannequin, let's do the jukebox thing. See what happens. Is she okay? Uh, has she? She's wearing an HRA. Has she been taken over by the hiss though? That is the blankest stare. I have ever seen in my entire life. That woman is dead inside. Like, just absolutely gone. She is not there. All right, where's the jukebox? It's supposed to be here in Central Executive. All right, it wouldn't be in here. Arish said it was somewhere here. Oh. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. Where's the jukebox? A security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> they had An sex. The expedition team found them decomposing <laughs> at the formation's base a week later. That's terrible. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse. <laughs> That's terrible. While still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. That's horrible. So <laughs> that sounds kind of cool at first. It's like, hey, hey, we're dating. We, we, we have a relationship. Hey, let's use this altered item, this jukebox, baby. Let's go to an al a alternate dimension and let's do it. Lots and uh, then <laughs> that ends up being your death. That's absolutely terrible. That's horrible. All right. Oh, well, I guess, th I guess that's one way to go out, right? Television show proposal based on the success of America Overnight. We would like to propose the creation of a television series that prevents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to pull, popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction. In the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge, there are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Yeah, I think that's an actual, Night Springs is an actual like uh, real life doohickamabob thingamajig. That's the Salvador thing that we just got. Is this jukebox put on a record? Hold on, is this DLC? Let me look this on. Put on a record mission control. If this is DLC, I want to save it until we'll, until we're done. Uh, uh, put on a record mission DLC. This quest is part of the Expedition free DLC released. Okay, so this is, that's a DLC quest. So we don't wanna do that right now. Uh, I wanna save the DLC till later. All right. So the jukebox is part of DLC. Where the fuck, uh, I need to go then to the mannequin, which happens to be weirdly enough exactly where the main story is too, so. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I think the best place we went last time 
was the panopticon entrance run back through security and then run back down through there we'll see that honestly sounds like something that really happened i mean i think it would right did you do you guys ever hear the story all right i might be making this up this might be a false memory but I feel like I remember there was a NASA, I don't know if he was a scientist or what he was, but there was like a, there was like somebody who worked at <clears throat> NASA. He was either like an intern or something. And he actually took like moon, I think it was either moon dust or, or, or a moon rock sample home. And then I think him and his significant other had sex with it in the bed or something. And of course, NASA found out because you can't just take a moon sample and get away with it. And uh, and it's actually a big deal because that's contaminating the moon sample, right? Um, but anyway, they found out he, and of course he got fired and in trouble. Like, that's a crime, obviously. Anyway, people do weird shit. I think we got them all. Nope. Fuck you, bitch! Come here. I missed. Fuck. I never miss with Pierce. Only occasionally. There we go. What else? There's more? Dude. Kill 10 enemies using launch. There we go. That one almost got me. That one almost got me. Are they still coming? I love charge. Charge is so much fun. There can't be more. Really? That that like has to be it, dude. Nope, there's another one. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. God damn, dude. Okay, the door is like there's a level six door somewhere over here, right? Right here. We couldn't do that before. All right, I believe this is the way into this area, yeah. That we couldn't get before. Fuck, dude, you scared the shit out of me. Bitch. Fuck you. Self-reflection? Did we just get another mission? Holy shit. Mirror supplet. Blah, 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 blah. Mirror supplement. Victorian mirror, altered item 60-UE. Just an entire sentence redacted. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in redacted Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Supplementary materials date August 18th, 1915. We certify that the case of Miss Redacted has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Miss Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction is passed. Signed, Dr. Redacted. So this is a note from her doctor in 1915 basically this is like the language and stuff that psychiatrists would use when a woman had mental issues right very fucked up shit but um i guess they didn't like they didn't know back then right that there were altered items and the bureau didn't exist in 1915 so it wasn't until later like in the 60s right i believe god damn 
How long am I streaming today? Probably uh, my family's supposed to be home sometime between six and seven. So my wife will text me and let me know an ETA. So probably until 30 minutes before they get home. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P6 and P7. So P6 is Dylan. Is P7 me? We can't get in that room. <clears throat> P prime candidate, right? So the candidates that they have picked out for the director program. Problems, George. Oh, that's too big to throw out there. Oh no. Oh no. Uh <laughs> damn it. Alright, got rid of that guy. This guy's like right out here. If I step out, I'm gonna die. I gotta figure out how to handle this bitch. <laughs> I didn't realize I had charge out. I thought I, I was too focused on him and is he going to throw something? I thought I had uh, a pierce out and I didn't. Holy shit, dude. Fuck, man. First one. All right. That was my bad. We got it. <laughs> oh my God. Host Sway with the uh, 10 gifted channel memberships. Those went to uh, Mars. Aerith, Criminal, who else we got? It's taking YouTube a minute. Everybody might be a member from this long haul of streams. Here we go. Minxy Valkyrum, Bearded Whiskers, Bethany, Pelu, Quicksilver 075, Kristen Trailer. Jim Cherry, I missed some Puff. Who else? I think that's uh, everybody. I might have missed a name there. Josue, you amazing legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That helps out a bunch, dude. Um, <clears throat> also, just a reminder, if you gift memberships or something and they're not assigned right away, they'll go into a queue for YouTube and they will eventually be given out. So you don't have to worry. If there's not enough people here and you still want to give, uh, they will be given out at one point or another. So don't worry about that. All right. Is this different enemies than last time? Because last time we had the uh, Hiss uh, Exploder Bitches, right? That's not their official name. That's their skilling name. I got his snipers down. Take that grenade for me, buddy. And then fight for me. Fight for me. Fuck you. All right, you're the last one. Sorry, dude. I got to do this. Bye-bye. <laughs> I feel slightly bad whenever I co-opt one of them to help me and I have to... I have to then kill them if they're the last one around. I heard louder whispering for some reason right there. All right, we're not gonna die this time. 
I don't think I should pin myself in this hallway. I think I gotta go out there and take care of what uh, the, the spear thing that is supercharging these. run it whoa the hallway uh, does something weird bro I'm gonna have to take care of this Salvador guy now he doesn't have the healing effect though so all right chunky bitch come here Fucker. Hey, who's throwing grenades? You want some? You want some? Where are you? Okay, we can't go there. The his presence is too strong. It looks like there's a bottom floor too. The mannequin is somewhere in here. We just have to find it. Might be down below. This, this is fucking... Alright, hold on though. I... Can we actually, like, walk on this? Alright, that's that's all the bad guys for now. Hey, what's up, Yeti? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You're gonna lurk? No worries, dude. You do you. Okay, the hallway ends, it looks like. Why does the room curve up like this? Ah, oh, god damn it. My mod... My slots are full. I would like to be able to upgrade the number of shite that I can uh, hold. All right. The number of shite. The number of shit that I can hold, please. Uh, energy recovery speed, we'll keep that. Energy cost, eight, 10. Uh, get rid of those. 18, 21, evade. 17, get rid of that. Are these launch 17 18 15 get rid of that one well i need one of those get rid of that okay and now uh, weapon mods are the ones that were actually full but i just go in and do this at the same time for all of them right uh ammo refund on hit 17 percent or eight percent get rid of that uh da -da 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 -da. Coral rate of fire, projectile spread. Get rid of that one. Projectiles fired. Josh G has been a channel member at the cadet level for nine months. Happy Easter, everyone. Smiley face and heart. Josh. Josh. The blurry finger thanks you. Nine months. That's an insane amount of support, dude. I really appreciate it. You're a legend. All right. Projectile speed. Blast radius. Uh, yeah. So I had to make my kids Easter baskets this morning. <laughs> I'm not the best at that kind of at that kind of crafty stuff. I think I did an okay job. I'd show you guys a picture, but the Easter baskets are they have their names on them, so that's a no go. But uh, I had I had fun, I had fun with it. I just it's I don't know. I'm not good at like that whole like positioning or like making stuff look nice. They won't give a shit, though. But, you know, it needed to be picture-worthy. You know what I'm talking about? I did. I've completed all of these. Yeah, I've completed all of my countermeasures. Ooh, the hotline has something to say. Let's see this. After North Moor stepped down, I doubled every effort to What's up, Slick Monster? Welcome cabinets. to the stream. Thanks for joining. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. 
The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. Holy shit, that's the first we've heard you of him talk about a family. Back then, something came home with me. I took work home. Is that why he, 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 he offed himself? When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. God damn. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. I think Jesse's P7. We're spoiled for choice. Yeah, Jesse is definitely P7. And I noticed I didn't have the volume adjusted, guys. So I, ju I just fixed that. Sorry. So you might you might notice a slight decrease in volume, but that'll level out things overall. So it'll be good. So you might have to adjust your volume up just a little bit. Just FYI. All right. Uh, unread case files. Bright Falls supplement. Bright Falls. Altered world event 35. Bright Falls. Bright Falls, Washington is Alan Wake, right? So this is the Alan Wake altered world event from the Alan Wake games that we all know. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. So I think this is the first that we've really heard. We know the Bureau was uh, active in the, Alan Moore, uh, in the Alan Wake altered world events. And in, uh, in uh, Alan Wake 2, they play a big part, right? Um, but <clears throat> I mean, there are literally several FBC agents in the game, <laughs> uh, who are there for quite a while. Right. Uh, but I did not, I don't know that we knew that Alice was intercepted by the Bureau and like evaluated by them and treated. That's the first that I've heard that notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI special agent, Robert Nightingale. You guys remember Robert Nightingale is the agent who is in the first Alan Wake game for the FBC. And then at the beginning of the second game, you find out what his fate is. The darkness or the dark presence. He got co-opted into that reality or parallel dimension and taken over by it. And he is essentially, spoiler alert for Alan Wake 2, if you didn't watch my playthrough, he's essentially the first boss and the first big bad in Alan Wake 2. His corrupted darkness form, right? Uh, so... There you go, Nightingale. And Dr. Emil Hartman referred to the creator's dilemma in the file, The Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, who we know Alan's a para-utilitarian, right? Overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. He's a para-utilitarian, come on. See Prime Candidate Program File for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. So Control was made as a game before Alan Wake 2, right? In Alan Wake 2, the monitoring facility at Cauldron Lake, we actually go there, we see it, we interact with it. It's going off the entire, it's like alerting the entire uh, game for Alan Wake 2. <clears throat> oh, I love the connections. I love it. Ooh, damage. Ooh, damage boost, you don't say. Ooh, spicy. Wait, can I? I have another mod slot for Pierce. I forgot. I should have had this on the whole time. Damage while aiming, 47%. Accuracy, 11. Energy gain from headshots, 34. Uh, zoom. Damage after kills. We're going to put that on. Damage while aiming. All right. It's 
Slick Monster had a question. Really eye-catching YouTube thumbnail with the hiss background. How'd you make it? Uh, so <clears throat> with all of my thumbnails, what I do is I find uh, press kits, promo images, or screenshots from the game. And then I do all my compositing work in three places. Photoshop, um, an image upscaler if I need to upscale anything to make it look pretty. And then I also sometimes use um, Microsoft Paint for some things. Not too often, but a little bit. <clears throat> but how I made that is essentially I took a screenshot of or I, I found a screenshot of uh, Jesse with that cool little looking uniform on and whatever. And I found this background of her of her like there was a different version and outfit of her originally on that background. And uh, I thought that background looked cool. And I wanted to talk about the interdimensional entities like the, the Polaris and Jesse's head. So then I, I did a bunch of composite work to match color and all that stuff in Photoshop between the background and Jesse. And then I added a text overlay. And if you guys remember the uh, text overlay or the last time we saw Jesse scratched on Dylan's thing, it was like in this scratch font. So I went out and I uh, bought a scratch font and uh, then I, I put his behind Jesse like as a different layer in Photoshop. And then I made Dre Jesse's layer kind of semi-transparent so that you could hopefully see the hiss text a little bit more. Give it this weird like parallax effect almost, kind of. Anyway, it's just a bunch of compositing work in Photoshop. You know, brighten it up, play with the hues and the colors, play with the sharpness, stuff like that. It's a, it's a lot of compositing work in Photoshop. But that's how I made it. Okay. They're all hissing. Or, you know, doing the hiss chant. We need to go downstairs. I, it's important to me that my thumbnails are somewhat representative of the game. Like, I know there are some creators or a lot of creators now who are, like, using AI to make their thumbnails. Or they try, they make their thumbnails with, like, stock images for some things or other stuff. And since I'm playing the games, like, I want my thumbnails to be representative of the game, but, like, you know, clickable and really cool looking and whatever. And I thought we're getting close to the end of the main story, I think. So I thought it would be cool just to have Jesse in some badass looking outfit. And, like, the hiss is a resonance, right? It's an entity that's a resonance. They keep talking about the resonance. So I thought that background looked very, like otherworldly kind of resonant right like resonance is like wavelengths or of light and sound right so that's why i did it like that so i try i as crazy as it sounds and i know my thumbnails aren't these works of art and they're not that beautiful but as crazy as it sounds i put a lot of or i try to i put a lot of thought into my thumbnails so all right, I think I see the way forward back there, but I want to run around down here and make sure that there aren't any other uh, lore notes or anything like that that we should be reading or checking out. It is very dark down here. Uh, I don't like that sound, bro. You wish you were good at Photoshop? It just takes practice, my brother. Just like anything in life, you just gotta... I mean, I sucked when I first started. If you go back and look at some of my first videos and the thumbnails and such, and I'm still... I would say, on a good day, I am a, I am a, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I'm not an expert, but I'm not a beginner. I'm a, I'm in between. Like, on a good day, I am a, a medium, a moderate <laughs> expert, or a moderate level of knowledge in Photoshop. Like, if you don't use Photoshop or have never done compositing work in it, everything I just said probably sounded super foreign and super flashy to you, but it's not its not anything super fancy. It's just a lot of practice making a shit ton of different thumbnails before. When I don't know how to do something, I Google it, I look it up, I watch YouTube tutorials, sometimes I'll ask IGP, so... All right. Yeah, you're welcome, Slick Monster. It was a good question. 
that, that, there's too many to shoot. There's just way too many. They're, they're fucking everywhere. Wait, huh? I swear to God that there was no opening to this place. Was there not? Am I just, am I stupid? All right, P6, closed cases, security panopticon. Oh, this was the door that we couldn't open before, but now we can, okay. All right. Uh, closed cases, let's go in here. Oh no, it's a threshold, kids. Oh fuck, dude. These creepy ass Bright Falls summary. Another Alan Wake. Bright Falls AWE-35. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation. So the last note was about Alice's state and recovery and the Bureau interacting with her post Bright Falls altered world event. This, I think, is about the actual event. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an altered world event in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13th, 2010 by ex-Bureau agent Frank Breaker, C redacted, that an altered world event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington. Refer to events investigated in 1970, 76, and 78. So we got confirmation. There were hints in the in the Alan Wake games, but we have confirmation now from the Bureau that there were other altered world events or investigations in Bright Falls. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, that's Alan's agent, right? Uh, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. This is like, we're talking about all the characters in the Alan Wake games now. A Bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to the 1970 redacted Thomas Sane. 19, that's the alter ego of Alan, right? 1976-1978, Odin Anderson. A old gods of Asgard dude, right? And Tor Anderson. Those are the old gods of Asgard, a.k.a. Poets Fall. Alan Wake was believed to redacted instigator, para-utilitarian instigator i believe is what that's supposed to say eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch possible object of power that redacted missing wake was not found at the scene reports claim he dived into the lake but no body was recovered in the search that's how the first alan wake game ends right spoiler for those that don't know alan believes that his wife is trapped in an alternate reality or dimension underneath cauldron lake in the first game and the game ends with alan essentially diving into the lake to trade places with alice right and the final line in the first game is it's not a lake it's an ocean right which sounds silly when you play the first game and you don't have the reference for the rest of the world but what alan means by that is there's more to this than just a weird event happening right here. What he means, right, is that this is not like the... He doesn't know that it's an altered world event, but there's, there's other dimensions. There's other realities. There's not just this one, right? Like, it's a whole, like... What he's saying is, I've just expanded my, like, entire consciousness. I now realize that, you know, we are not alone, that there are other dimensions. There are other universes. They're out there, they're overlapping, right? That's what not it's not a lake, it's an ocean means. I think a lot of people played the first Alan Wake game and really liked it, but then at the ending, a lot of us were like, what the fuck does it's not a lake, it's an ocean mean? And once you have more context and you play some of the DLCs and stuff, and you I now that I've played Control and I've played Alan Wake 2, you get it, right? Like, what he's saying is what happened here at Bright Falls and what happened with me and my wife. It's just the tip of the iceberg, right? There is so much more. All right, that's the that's the skilly that's the skilly breakdown for you. Let's watch this creepy ass TV show now. I hate that that this doll lady. You're upset, Meg. Mr. Bones, fuck him. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? <laughs> Uncle Mr. Bones? <laughs> I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You 
can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some <laughs> brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. The long pause as he pulls down the thing. Oh shit, bitch. Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. Why would you want to make friends blind? Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Ew. Why you say it like that, dude? <laughs> what if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair! Man. Jesus Christ. That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once. Well, the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. What does that mean? You're going to put me in the insane, insane asylum? You fucking weirdo. Stewie, you said, is my artwork self-taught or did you go to college? I don't know if I... <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to disparage myself. I, 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 I get what you're asking and I appreciate the sentiment. I don't know if compositing in Photoshop is art. I don't know. That feels really... I can't draw for shit. I can't draw or paint or anything like that. So maybe digital art, but um, I went to I went to university. I went for creative writing. I have a, a bachelor's of English and creative writing and professional writing. Um, did not go for like art in that sense. I worked in corporate America in various middle management positions for like uh, at big companies for 14 ish years. And then I left to come and work with IGP and start my content creator journey. Uh, and I've been doing this now for almost three years here in another month. It'll be three years. Um, so most of this is like 50% me uh, Googling and, and self teaching myself through through like free courses on like Skillshare and other places like that. And then 25% like trial and error. And then the rest is like IGP, like showing me stuff or helping me with stuff or teaching me things or me asking him questions, stuff like that. So it's mostly like just self accumulated and like me going out and learning it. So through different sources. Hey, what's up, Low Wolf? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. At Nier, welcome. Good to have you. Uh, me being able to use Photoshop and do compositing work and make thumbnails in Photoshop and editing videos and learning about how audio works and all this stuff and streaming and all that. I've learned all of this in the past three years. All right. That was a weird threshold kids thing. All right. P6 is Dylan. So let's see I what this has to say. Gone differently and ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector will. Together in this one case, uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. But well, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. Once we catch up with her. <laughs> so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here, and and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's com completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. Hmm. Whoa. There was an incident. <clears throat> yes. Dylan's not quite working out, is he? It's not quite working out. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. <clears throat> Who did you lose? 
force. Dylan has so much. But he's... He's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. Who is he talking to, he, he, you he think? Slack. I mean, boys will be boys. The board, like in this particular one, is he talking to the board? Is he talking to the He's director? And under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Hmm. Marshall needs to realize this. Okay, Marshall's the head of the Rangers, right? We'll make this work. I want to know some of the some of them some of Darling's presentations are obviously addressed to the bureau as a whole and the employees, right? Like the HRE one or the, sorry, the HRA one at the beginning of the game. But then some of them like that seem more intimate in that they seem to be addressed to a specific person or entity, right? And I'm, I'm curious who he's talking to, whether it be the board or the current director, etc. Dylan, Dylan Faden transcript. Transcript of conversation between Dylan for review by Dr. Darling. Note, subject was alone during this outburst. Dylan, you again? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Dylan, why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. I, I think Dylan is talking to Polaris, the entity inside Jesse's head. I think Dylan also had Polaris in his head. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. He's talking about Jesse. Polaris is showing um, Dylan Jesse. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, and we just watched that, right? <clears throat> All right. P6 victim autopsy. All right, let's find out what happened to Roberts, his victim. Uh, case 45-HQ-121. Agent killed during redacted involving redacted redacted. Codename P6. Dylan Faden, right? Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Avulsion fracture of the 3rd through 10th ribs, left and right. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. Abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the redacted was contorted through his redacted. So... Dylan literally psychically like just crushed this guy, right? Essentially is what he did and cut him to pieces. Crushed him up and did cut him all up. Holy shit. That is fucked, dude. What's up, Sharkbite? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Is that the, the projector? No, I don't think that's the projector. That's going to be in the uh, roundabout is area. This what Dylan wanted me to see? Okay, so P7 is it didn't me. Matter. We right? need to find that projector. Yeah, they were following Jesse the whole time. P7 is Jesse. This is her. I think that's a picture of the actual real life actress who voices her in mocaps her. Because that looks better than, than the character model. P7, oh, P7 candidate outfit? We got a new outfit? That's the first new outfit we've gotten. Man, they've been following her her whole life. Holy shit, guys. Shoplifting? She shoplifted? Filing, or fighting away a, a purse snatcher? Huh. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers. But they just stood by and watched me. Damn. Hey, what's up, Paolo and Miss Paolo? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're both doing good. Good to have you. Yeah. Or Roberts, the Ranger, was in a car accident at 3,000 miles an hour. That's correct. <laughs> All right. Jesse Faden. Movement tracking. Eastward movement cause for concern. So she was in Wyoming, Nebraska. Uh, what is that? N-E? Is that Nebraska? Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, 
Pit, uh, Pennsylvania, right? And then New York. So she's like moving all over the country. It's because she said she felt paranoid, I guess. Interesting. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. A therapy session? They have her therapy sessions recorded? Well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in deeper into it, like get it shifted. So they used the slide projector, an object of power, to cross a threshold we into another dimension, it. right? That's where we found the slide projector. Or wait, they found a threshold, the they went into it and found things, the slide projector. Sorry. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents <clears throat> Why is she asking all of these? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know. Stepping into a painting. Oh, the psychiatrist doesn't believe her. I got it. Adventure there, and so she's trying parents. to psychoanalyze I her. I, That's what's happening. I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was done. Damn. Those psychiatrists are just supposed to listen. For the most part. <clears throat> Is that a moose? No, those are horses. Out of the side of my eye, look like moose. Alright, so I was one of the prime candidates. We studied what happened in We suspected that, but we just got it confirmed. Okay, we have not found the mannequin though. He's definitely not. Hold on. Have I been all the way down here? We went in the shelter, right? We went around here. I don't know that I ran around down in this specific section, though. So hold on. I feel like we're starting to leave this area, the prime candidate program area. Maybe there's a little bit more to it, so the mannequin could be this way. I might have to complete the main story mission here before the mannequin's available. I don't know. All right, that's where we came out of, right? Did I miss? Oh, there's nothing in here. What does it say? Transit corridor, turntable, ordinary AWE, and then prime candidate program back that way. before I don't need them anymore. <laughs> like, literally. Work chat. Dead dog. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight-up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. I it be, It'd been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. They're talking about packages that got mailed to the bureau, right? As as para natural items or altered items or whatever. Because these are the pneumatic tubes, it looks like, with mail coming in. 
All right, something weird's happening in there. Possum7, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Willow Avenue. AWE, a hollow spear, stone like material, vitrified soil, redacted pieces of various sizes and colors, animal carcass, possibly canine, rusted metal bucket, leather wallet, aged shotgun cartridge. All materials go to the investigation sector for further analysis. This is an inventory list of recovered materials from the Willow Altered World event. Okay. Anything down here? Well, this looks totally normal. Spin, rate of fire boost. I'm surprised we haven't hit another control point yet. I need another control point. Does this go? That's it. Gonna open it up. Hey! All right, buddy. That was uncalled for. That was weird. The music is doing weird stuff. So where's the fucking mannequin, dude? We are getting out of the prime candidate. This is the end of the prime candidate area. Where's the fucking mannequin, bitch? Or is it on the second floor up here? The mannequin is definitely not here. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going forward. What does this say? I were it doesn't tell it, it doesn't tell me where we're going. Experiments. Experimentus. Experimentus. My buns are always good, LOL. <laughs> All right. Transit corridor. Are we still in the like I guess we're kind of technically in this part of the map a little bit, this little area. So the mannequin could be still here. Maybe. I'm reading this right. Oh, this looks like, you know what? There we go. And then use the dead bodies to fuck them. Die! You fucks, is there still a guy floating? Dude, you just won't die, will you? All right, there's a control point there, but there's a heavy hiss presence right there. I don't know if I could go there. What is all this? Ooh, hey, what's up? I need a door. There we go. Hidden location. Fuck yeah, dude. I can't see shit in here, though. Bunch of items. I need a, uh... I need a light. Okay, there's a file here. Typewritten, pa typewritten page. Altered item 83-KE. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. The spiral symbol is connected to Alan Wake, right? The Ocean View Motel and Casino is the uh, place between dimensions or parallel realities slash universes that Alan and now Jesse too have both used to move between realities. I think Mr. Door as well has a connection to it. And the spiral is what, it's not a loop, it's a spiral, right? Alan Wake 2. Text transcribed from the item. Um, for 10 years, I've tried to write my escape. This is an, uh, this is a page from Alan's writing. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they are all the same. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear, desire, how can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? 
that thought alone can drive you mad the identifiable words in the scratched out portion falls bright falls haunting wake alan wake light switch ocean too late and the final sentence you've been warned so at the end of alan wake alan is trapped in the dark reality or dimension right under cauldron lake due to the altered world event and switching places with alice right or he thinks he switches pla he switched places with alice he's trapped and he's been trying to use his para utilitarian ability to alter the story and get out in the 10 years reference alan wake was released in 2010 and um control was released near the end of 2019 and the ultimate edition came out in 2020 so that would be roughly 10 years right so 10 years he's been trapped by the time we play Alan Wake 2, he's been trapped for 13 years, right? <clears throat> Even more Alan Wake connections. Anything else back here? Doesn't seem like it. Is that the only hidden room here? I think so. Looks like that was the only hidden room right, right there. Uh, might be something else. All right, before we purge the control point, let's just kind of check around here. What's this? This is so dark over here. So dark. Such a weird, the building shift in this area is so freaking weird. Like, look at this. There's a door back there, but we can't get to it. Because of the building. I think, wait, 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 wait. I purge the control point and it'll be less dark. I'm an idiot. I'm over here trying to get somewhere that I just need to purge the control point. Or cleanse it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the building will shift. Yep, there we go. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I wonder if that room still would have existed if I had shifted uh, before going into it. I'm curious. We're going back home. Of course we are. Yeah, it would have started there, and it's. It would have been more obvious. Yeah, the room would have been more obvious, <laughs> and it would have been light. <laughs> oh, Skilly, you silly bastard! All right, Sterling A W E. Ordinary AWE, ordinary dump site. You guys are just dumping shit. Is the mannequin in here? Transit South Quarter. I doubt it. We have level six access though. Oh, I can't go in here? Why did I start to get hurt? I have the pill. I have the resistance to the mold. All right, I assume it's in there though. Before we do that, though, let's upgrade. That's the way. That's the way forward, right? We'll check out what that little side area is in, is in a second. I thought maybe that would just be a solo room, but it looks like it's more than that. So, all right, I'm saving up to either do health upgrades or um, to finish out launch. I think if I get this final thing right here, eight ability points, hold and launch up to three objects. Energy now recovers while holding launched objects. Launch objects. That's insane, bro. All right, board countermeasures. That's right. We finished all these. So we need new ones. Uh, I don't like the ones that require you to be in a certain area. I just want ones. Uh, executive. Hiss Rangers. There we go. Static target. Hiss Distorted. There we go. Launch Tactics. Kill enemies using launch. Kill Hiss Rangers. Kill Hiss Distorted. Yeah, there we go. Can I do anything to my gun? I need two more corrupted samples. Ooh, I could upgrade shatter. I don't really use shatter though, dude. And if I keep going, I can upgrade charge one more time. I think I'm going to hold out to do charge. And then I would like to get spin at some point. All right. Also outfits. What's the outfit? Why can't I do an outfit here? I could do an outfit. Hold on a sec. I could do an outfit at Central Executive. I know that. Boop, boop, 
Boo -boo. It's weird to you that all the signs are highway signs. I feel like they took them from the literal town, right? Oh, no. I don't want to wear that. Nah, way more stylish for this. All right, where was I? I was in the transit corridor right here. I was right there. Okay. I gotta go pee. Give me like, give me like, give me like, I, I downed like a big cup of apple juice before a stream and I sent it did that. Because I'm a child and a five-year-old and I like apple juice. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back in like a minute or two. There's 112 people here. Stay here. Stay here. The blurry finger has hypnotized you. You will not leave. All right. I'll be back. No, you guys can't hear me. I said, whoa, no scope gets crazy. I didn't realize that. I realized that song went that hard. All right. Uh, mold room, right? Let's see what's in here. The ambience is trippy in this area. Why do I get hurt when I first walk in? Just to make no sense. Is the mannequin in here, please? We've been looking for a mannequin. At least it's not cranberry. Yes, this is true. I like, yeah, I like apple juice. I like, I like juice besides cranberry juice. <laughs> is that all that's in here is just a bunch of fucking mold and those containers? And then these ceilings? I think so. God, this place is full of it. What am I? I need, uh, I need grip out, dude. I miss you, grip. I need to shoot stuff. Grip just fits my 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 personality, you know, my personality. All right. I don't know that there's uh, just those items. Oh shit! I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, fuck. There you go. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, I see you back there, motherfucker. Gotcha. Dude, he's flying everywhere. Look at, look at this Charles Xavier fuck just floating around. All right, there's a bunch of mold. Oh, no, it's one of those things. I can't kill that thing. I can just blast away. It's, uh, okay. Well. There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. We want to rotate Maybe this? Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Ordinary dump site. Sealed containment. Okay.
Can I set on top of this? I can. All right, that's where we came from. The transit quarter, Sterling Avenue. We want to rotate this, but how is that going to unlock the doors? Bridge operator, so it'd probably be that way, right? But there's got to be a way to rotate. No, I know, Jesse. Shut up. I'm taking Maybe stock of everything. Control panel nearby. Don't treat me like I'm dumb. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be this way. I don't see anything else to interact with. Ooh. Personal shield boost. Okay, this is bridge controls. Open this. Okay, and this just opens the door, so just use the computer. It's, it's such a big area. I felt like there would be, like, a secret or something. Oh, this is the teeth that got mentioned in that letter. Uh, guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of, like, a hundred teen... Teensy? Teensy? Teensy tiny? Teen, teensy? Teensy, right? Is that how you spell teensy, though? I thought it was, like, T-I-N. Okay, teensy tiny little boxes. Me, that's who, and you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. Gross. That's disgusting. I'd quit my job right away. Immediately. It won't rotate. The Something's mold? It. The mold. Ah, fuck. There we go. Same thing, there's mold over here. Fuck. It won't rotate. Yeah, we know, Jesse. Is that all of the molds? It is. At least I think so. This is ordinary, so this is where we want to go. This has got to unlock this, though, right? One would assume. And did it unlock the door back here as well? Or is this this is where we this is where we came in? Okay, that was already unlocked. Confused. You find it annoying when games give auto hints voice lines too early for you? Yeah, it can be annoying. I bet you. I'm curious now that you said I don't know that I want to turn it off because sometimes I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> But uh, I bet you there's an o a lot of games like this, especially, uh, have an option for you to turn that type of dialogue off somewhere, probably. This one may not. I was going to see, and some of them have, like, I've even seen games do it where, like, you could set a time delay. Like, you could say, like, five minutes or every, you know, if I haven't found the solution in X amount of time. I've seen a couple of games do that. I appreciate that. Like, if someone wants to have it in their game, cool, but I'm, I'm with you, Panthera. Normally, I normally I don't like it because sometimes I'm exploring a lot, right? Or, like, just, like, figuring out what's what and where everything is and all that jazz, you know? Okay, I don't know. I'm pretty sure going forward is the way, but there's all this. No, it's not. What's in the box here? What's in the box, say? Eh? Ouch. Yeah, I take my time with stuff. I, I by the which is obvious by the amount of time it takes me to complete every game that we play. <laughs> All right, I guess I have to go down this way. What are these red lights all mean? It means something, dude. I know it does. Fuck, man. Dude, oh no. It's one of those invisible bitches. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. This is way too tight of a space. I gotta... Shit, I'm gonna die. 
I'm gonna die. Did I get her? There's a second one, isn't there? There is. No, oh fuck! That space is way too tight for that, man. That's what she said. You'd love to see me play Bioshock Infinite? Uh, I have played all the Bioshock games. Probably at least two times each, but I think a couple of them three times each. I love them. We may do them at some point. I want to get through my backlog first, though, and play games that I haven't played that are really interesting to me. But yeah, we may we may tackle them at some point. So I'm very familiar with Bioshock. I, I love that game series. I can't wait to play Judas when it comes out. Uh, I'm just I'm just booking through here, dude. All right, dude. Uh, this is this fight with the. Uh, is she gonna be here again? Yeah. to use pierce on her bitch ass dude those things are if i didn't have if i didn't have pierce all the way upgraded and I have the three slots in here <laughs> i don't i don't know because i have extra i have 47 percent extra damage on uh aim and 85 percent extra on low health i don't know that i would have beaten her that easy those things those hits distorted are freaking nasty dude You're hoping for an RE game next? I do really, really... So, I have, like... I have more than 10 on my backlog. But, um... We've talked about that before. But I have, like, uh... I, I don't have them all ordered in the order that I want to play. But I have a... I have, a like, a top 10 that, like, I really want to do, like, in no particular order. And Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 make, Remake are in the top 10. Control was in the top 10, too. Uh, just because I, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and I'm a big Alan Wake fan. So yeah, all three of those games were in the top. So Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 may, Remake may be coming pretty soon. Just depending on new releases and stuff like that. I tend to fill my, uh, my content, right? Like if there's nothing new that's super exciting to me for streams, because I want longer narrative experiences, right? That's when I go back and play my backlog. So... Oh, I just went back up. I got so confused by the layout down here. But yeah, those will be... We're, we're getting there. We're, we're whittling away the backlog. We're getting there. Can I interact with something over here? No, just that. Yeah, I played... Uh, I did one stream on Atomic Heart. I, uh... I don't know. It wasn't bad. It just didn't hit for me. I just didn't like it that much. That's why I didn't go back to it. I, I don't know what it was. I can't pinpoint one thing. There's just something off about it to me that I just didn't vibe with me. But I mean, if you enjoyed it, that's great. I do definitely see the Bioshock franchise connections and everything for sure. Some kind of... It almost looks like a World War II airplane. It's all broken up though. Like the, the, the fixed wings are off of it. Huh. Yeah. The fuck happened to this thing? There's one of the prop it or the engines right there. Charlotte, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Valkyrie594, welcome. Good to have you. Appreciate you being here. All right, another elevator. Restore the power to the elevator. Okay. Oh, I need one of those thing thingamabobs, doohickeys, whatchamacallums. Where is it? There are two that I need to place here. All right. Are they in here anywhere? 
this looks like them but not them hold on like these aren't gonna work right yeah th that's not them kind of looks like them but not it's this what does this do that probably opens the doors right one would assume or that restores power to the elevator not a hundred percent that probably restored power no there's one more we need one more that's the elevator power i don't know what those two do and here's the other one come with me and you will see a world full of shit where does this go it goes over here right All right, nothing opened, though? Nope, just the elevator works. Okay. Yeah, where are we on the map? <laughs> are we, like, on a... Oh, we're way up here in, like, an unnamed area. So we are away from the mannequin. You know what? We'll just switch our mission for now back to the face of the enemy. I I don't know how to... I, I, I'm lost as to the mannequin. We might have to complete this mission first. Because we were in the area, but there was definitely no mannequin. We looked everywhere. Hey, what's up, Philo? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. What's up, Dracice? Good to see you as well. Thanks for joining. I hope you're good. I shouldn't have did that. I should have did Pierce on that guy. stuck in an elevator. Fuck, dude. I need all this help. Gotta kill this guy before shit goes down. Aggressive. Yeah! Get wrecked, bitch! Fuck you, too. Damn. They came at me hard as soon as the elevator opened those fucks ordinary awe okay so the, the awe from wait what oh we're in the control room area above the plane okay what's down here file airplane evaluation order the airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of redacted cincinnati it is suspected to be connected to the redacted awe See case file redacted for details and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Special access redacted. For more information on tunnel redacted and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and redacted. See file 412-4521. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for redacted, redacted, and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status has yet been redacted. Detected. I'm just seeing redacted everywhere, man. I can't tell what anything says anymore. Sir Kirito. So, sorry. Sir Kirito with the $5 super chat said from me and Queen Asuna. Hello, everyone. Been busy all week, but we joined Squadron. Sorry, we have not been in. Sir Kirito, you legend and rock star. Thank you and Queen Asuna as well. I really appreciate it. The support is amazing. And thank you for being Squadron level channel member that helps out a bunch thank you and then also sir kirito with the five gifted channel memberships those went to metallica 1989 connor marks uh isaiah balamurgan and the ugly potato and uh ori y Yam yamagami <laughs> i apologize i know i butchered like every single one of those sir kirito and queen asuna you absolute rock stars thank you i really appreciate it good to have you Every time, dude, I'm gonna have nightmares after this game about reading stuff or reading notes and like have the information redacted. Or yeah, like because I've s said and seen the word redacted so many times for this game, every time I see something close to it, like detected has some of the same syllables and words, I'm like redacted. It's just like, it's like, it's like a compulsion now to just say redacted. All right.
that awkward moment when your security level is too low everything is redacted yeah <laughs> What was it? There was a... <laughs> there was a... There was a, like, a, a... I remember this interview. It became, like, a meme clip. But there was an interview one time with a United States senator. This was a while ago. And he had asked for, like, all of the, the military's files or something. He was on, like, some committee, right? And senators are supposed to have pretty high-level access to stuff, you know? But, and he had asked for like some military files on UFO sightings or stuff that hadn't been declassified. And they were like, sure, we'll give them to you. And then they sent him stuff and he was t in an interview talking about it. And what they sent him, he was like, I, I couldn't read it. He's like, I just, I, I couldn't read it. The entire file was redacted. And I was just like, that's hilarious. Imagine, <laughs> I love the idea that like a United States Senator sends uh, a legitimate request to the military for some info and they're like sure buddy we'll grant it and then they sent him over like a completely blacked out report <laughs> with like all he can read is like the and two and a and everything you know i just i love that all right um boo -boo 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 -boo. ordinary awe stage 1.a the first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. Dylan, so this is an interview with Dylan. Dylan uh, Faden, interview 2002. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. The Jesse therapy session 2010. So we've seen uh, we've seen the interview transcript and the therapy session was an audio file, right? I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him nosebleed Neil. No, likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note likely Tom Barlow missing and his gang. Freddie, note likely Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo, note no one by this name was found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden, interview 2002. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of an additional slide designation house. What? Okay. That's weird. I don't quite know what to make of that note yet. I'm going to be honest. You're determined to somehow se Oh, you're talking to Panthera. I got gotcha. you. Because Panthera's in Australia. Never seen snow, right? I'm hearing the hiss. You're listening to America Overnight. Celebrate oh, dude. I love this show. Unhinged callers with shit that's actually real. Breakfast on with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What am I about to tell you? They found out. I don't know what would happen. Who's they? Who found out, brother? The men in the suits. <laughs> they told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Dollar. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And okay. it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's what was it? Whoa, please watch the language, Dollar. <laughs> Maybe 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just, my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. What the fuck? Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. There is the no same salvation. The thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called For Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! <laughs> I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. <laughs> America Overnight will be right back. So remember, America Overnight is a show put on by the Federal Bureau of Control, the FBC, right? And they put it out there to get people to call in and report crazy shit, right? Report altered items, places of power, objects of power. So what happened there is the hosts immediately recognized that, oh shit, something's going on in Ordinary, or the FBC already knew about it, so he shut it down and tried to make it look like, he tried to make it look all crazy and conspiracy theory-like, right? 
so that the public wouldn't actually be like, oh, something real is happening. Ordinary summary. Why would you name your town Ordinary? Ordinary Altered World Event 24. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power slide projector, object of power 15. Discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. See Object of Power case file and Darling presentations redacted for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews redacted and prime candidate program files redacted. Those 17 survivors were all children, though, because the town's entire adult population disappeared. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. They kidnapped all those kids. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our What's world. up, Sarah? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. Okay. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the <laughs> He smiled right after I shot him. Or did I try? <laughs> and I shot right when it ended. I like that. Hey, what's up, Stephanie P? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You think Ruby needs an Amazon wish list? I want to send the adorable doggo a treat. Uh, I guess I could set one up. I never thought about that. Uh, <laughs> let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you, though, for that for that sentiment. I appreciate that. That's kind. She is very well loved and taken care of. We love that old little dog. We've only had her for, what, two months? Two and, wait. January 26th to March. Two months and, like, five days? She's a funny doggo. God damn it. I needed a door! And I could have just walked this way. Okay. Is there a case file here? There is. Ordinary AWE Stage 4.A Town proper witness testimonies Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave There was a lot of them More of the kids from town had joined up It was really scary Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could They chased us I fell and hurt my knee Jesse tried to help me but the dung monkeys were coming What are dung monkeys? They were just about to get us but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. Dylan Fadden, interview 2002. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse Fadden, therapy session 2010. She's talking about Polaris, the entity that's in her head, right? Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Dylan Faden, interview 2002. Uh, additional slide designation hand. Slide ID 36 is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity. Designation Dog Neil. <laughs> entity ID 19930. <laughs> Dog Neil. They, that, that, they gave Neil, Neil the official name. Dog Neil. Poor guy. Oh, hey! You will help me, sir. Nah. All 
Okay, I guess all of them are dead. You gotta die too. Sorry about that, bud. Oh wait, there's more. Right? Oh, it's a control point. Let me purge the get. Let me cleanse the control point here first. We might be able to do the upgrade to uh, the charge here now too. Let's see. We completed a countermeasure as well. Shield efficiency, okay. Uh, still need more of those. Containment incursion, maintenance, strategic target, hiss, demolition experts. There we go. And then abilities. We still only have one. Astral constructs. Please tell me. Charge. Oh, dude, we still need like 7,366. Look at that. I can do math. I know math. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. <laughs> He didn't want to come, did he? He never visited He's never out. Robert's. <laughs> to tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. <laughs> Not even a poster on the wall. What is the next number in the sequence? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, I know, eighteen. Eighteen. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. That's a good point. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What What's up, Brian? Four hundred eight and N seven Gallagher. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can Damn. you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. Dog when Neil! Went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! <laughs> there is no, no calendar! calendar. I don't fucking no! Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Damn. Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need. <laughs> She's dead. Well, damn. That's why Casper doesn't visit you, bro. You got problems, man. You got problems. Ooh, that's a button. So we're learning about the ordinary AWE now. Ordinary AWE stage 1.B dump witness testimonies. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Jesse Fadden, Therapy Session 2010. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it, Jesse Fadden. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened, Dylan Fadden. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation meadow. Hey, Devastation Machine became a channel member at the squadron level, the highest level. Devastation Machine, you rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It helps out a bunch. You're an absolute legend. Thank you. All right. And then we watch these. We just need to clear the notifications. Uh, 14 conceptual materials and a, some jukebox tokens. Uh, there's a file up here. Huh. Uh, stage 4.B, town proper, witness testimonies. We went in and met Polaris like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. Felt like being born or reborn, the world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Jesse. Excuse me. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the knot mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off. 
and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them, all of them except hand, Jesse. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation Polaris. So the Bureau knew about Polaris. Jesse was kind of keeping that in and not telling Emily Pope, but the Bureau knew about Polaris because uh, they were listening to Jesse's therapy sessions. What are the dung monkeys and the not mother though? Are those other paranatural entities? I'm sure we're gonna find out, but I don't like the sounds of that. Hey Rob, Let's what's up man? Welcome to the ordinary. stream, thanks for joining. Good to have you. It's all here. What? Our home, our school. Like a woods, recreation? The dump. What the fuck? That's weird. It's a it's it's like a a cardboard cutout recreation of our town. All right, stage 4. Trees. What's the red house? Is that Jesse and Dylan's house? Whoa, you can literally like This is weird. It's not painted or anything. Huh. All right. Where am I supposed to go here? Oops. <laughs> I broke it. All right. Ordinary stage three public school witness testimonies. Tom and the others had gotten worse, scarier. The math teacher, Miss Chester, tried to make them listen and they pushed over a piano on her, broke her legs. Then Tom bashed her head in. Bye bye, Miss Chester. I always liked her. I liked math. Dylan, one of their, their, People who was doing the slide projector with him murdered a teacher? That was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. The grown-ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the not mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in, in ordinary. Mom and dad were pissed, asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting them gone like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I? I don't know. Jesse. Disappearance of majority of Ordinary's population confirmed to result from slide projector altered world event. So in this game, they've talked a lot about the collective human consciousness being able to um, cause altered items or threshold events or altered world events in some stage or like bringing about the crossover between realities. We know that Jesse and Dylan are para-utilitarians. I wonder if because of the events and the slide projector being exposed to it and being exposed to Polaris and having Polaris in their heads, that all the kids were mad at their parents and they were being affected by the slide projector and by the not mother and everything. Their collective unconsciousness wished the parents away and then the parents disappeared. I'm curious. That's my skilly theory right now. Based on everything the game has been throwing at us. My weapon mods are full again. Fuck, 25 out of... How do I have 25 out of 24? Oh, is it because of I'm carrying some on the guns? All right, hold on. Damn, man. Rate of fire, damage, damage, damage. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of... I kind of want to keep the damage don't need that one though right ammo refund on chance ammo cost per shot we'll get rid of that one we'll get rid of that all right projectile speed rare we'll get rid of the rare we should probably eventually at the end of the day only have like all of the uh, we don't need we should all have prime and absolute level ones right we don't the other ones are just probably not worth it some of them though we haven't found at those levels yet so all right and then my personal mods as well are beefed up here what is this shield strength 55 55 we only need one energy plus eight we don't need that 28 percent energy we want to keep both of those uh, get rid of that. 17, 18. Let's get rid of the 17. I don't really use shields, so we don't need that. C speed, don't need that. Don't need that. We have too many C speeds, and I don't even use them. All right. We bought, we bought some space. Spin grouping efficiency, okay. 
Anything on the other side. The other side has to be like where we get up, right? Oh, okay. You know, I knew it was too good to be true. This motherfucker! Gotcha. Where are you at? You want some, bitch? I will throw goddamn buildings at you in trees, motherfucker! He got a jukebox token. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Search for the slide projector. All right. Is this where I came in? I've already forgotten. I don't think so. But it probably was, right? No, it's not. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? What's yes. up, Black Halfling? Thanks for popping yeah, in and saying so hi. Good to have you. Him. Thanks for joining. There's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved Thomas in Sane. the 60s. Thomas Alan Wake connection. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's... this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for... something that I think I lost. You feel that way. I can't not fidget, your dude. And your parents are dead. No, no, Dylan's not dead, and that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood, Dolores. She's come back after a long time. She's calling. So Polaris went away for a bit and then came back a dream to Jesse. She... That's interesting. She showed me things, Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in ordinary. An industrial accident in your own town. What you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from I don't know exactly. It's a Dylan. All four of them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. Okay. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something something hugely important is going to happen. So this is right Jesse, before she left to come to the FBC building. You go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Did she leave a mental institution to come here? Interesting. Was she in inpatient therapy? That's the vibe I just got from the ending of that there. Hey, what's up, ugly zombie? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. How am I enjoying control so far? Dude, control is perfect, in my opinion. I am loving this. This is exactly my type of game. And I love the Alan Wake universe, and this is so interconnected and... It's got that SCP vibe with the way it works, but its own unique flair. It's just not a copycat. I just, I love it. I should have played this a long time ago. All right. Ordinary supplement. Uh, details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews redacted and redacted for relevant information. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, Dylan claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse mentioned nine slides. 
The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. She confirmed that in, a, in, uh, in an interview with them, right? Uh, Dr. Darling has ordered that the Bureau of the Ordinary Town Dump be brought to the... Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the Ordinary Town Dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Mm, okay. Ordinary dump site, turntable, transit corridor. This is like back where we came from. What the frick? It's like a different area here. Oh. This is literally like the town. All crunched up. The whole landfill here in the middle of New York. That's insane. Nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. It is. So the landfill is where Jesse and the other kids went with Dylan, Dylan and her and the other kids went to use the slide projector to cross the threshold into other dimensions, right? All right. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the redacted department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors found in the area, should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. So he closed down the ordinary AWE investigation because something. Probably the hiss, right? Like he saw something coming or he figured out something. That's the that's the vibe I get. It's back here. Anything? Nope. All right. They moved this entire place here. <clears throat> Any notes or anything? Before we start running and levitating over the dump. And we have bad guys. Of course we do. Fuck, get me out of here. Oh no, there's a... Uh... Where's the, where's the fucking circle? lab but we're gonna check the dump the all the shit first oh my god my mods are full again my weapon mods are full again jesus dude all right what do we got rate of fire zoom damage against enemy armor refund recoil rate of fire so we need to get isn't there wasn't there a rate of fire down here yeah we need to get rid of that uh projectile plus 10 projectiles for shatter plus 10 but what dude we might have to switch to using shatter we're gonna have so many shotgun blasts now holy shit dude blast radius 67 get rid of that accuracy 22 percent i'm gonna get keep one of those Headshots, headshot, damage, energy gains, shift to kills, low on health. Okay. And then these, what did I get? Launch efficiency. 
those suck all right so hold on a sec holy god i'm gonna change from grip to shatter what do we have on shatter right now projectiles fired five we have a projectiles fired 10. where is it at 10. god damn dude so how many jesus dude all right Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to open this. Hey, what's up, D's Nuts? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. I can open that. That fridge opened. Why did the fridge open? And why can I get up here? Globe supplement? Wolf globe, altered item 72-PE. The item was found in the penthouse suite at Redacted Toronto belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including Redacted, Redacted, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto's Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties while the world thinks he's dead. Nope. Nope. He's not sipping my ties. Nope. Negative Ghost Rider. He's not in a good spot. Hey, what's up, Dip? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. All right. Why is there like this red net to like filter out stuff? Why is that over there? All right, I see an item over there, but let's see. Is there anything over here? Yeah, okay. Boop. Who needs a walkway when you can fucking fly? All right, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's all we're going to find around here. Just a one more click, quick, quick, one more quick, one more quick cursory glance everywhere. All right, into the lab. All right. What is this? Ooh, ooh, girl, ooh, girl. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. He seems really freaked out. Erling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Woo! The face of the enemy complete. Three ability reports. Three, three ability reports received. Er, see, a new mission, a dark place? What is that? I think that's a DLC mission. When I read the DLC pages. Hold on. Hotline. Oops. I didn't mean to bring my face back. It needs to go away. We got a hotline. You have heard wrong slash fake news. The board is A-OK. -okay, intact. The rebel faction slash dissident is former slash fired. The crisis slash purge is over. This is not a matter slash worry for you. You can hang up now, please. That's fucking weird, dude. What the fuck? 
All right, hold on. Let me look up something uh, mission-wise because we got a lot of missions bobbing around now. This is the next main story mission. This is DLC. Uh, this we are not sure how to do yet. We do have to deal with these guys. Self-reflection. Locate the mirror and synchronicity. We should do some of these. Investigate the sector elevator. That is a DLC mission, I'm pretty sure. A dark place mission control dlc i'm just double checking your first step in completing the control is to reach the investigation sector after downloading the dlc yep that's it so that is we've made it far enough in the story to do that we might end up doing those before we do like the final main mission but for now let's uh let's do this self-reflection thing jesse learns of a secured altered item chamber in this um synchronicity lab We'll be able to fast teleport and do a lot of these quickly. Uh, Sikarov, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Star Wars is not boring. You take that back. I'm just kidding. I like Star Wars, but to each their own. All right. Oop, bloop, bloop, boop, a scoop, boop, a scoop. Uh, where did we enter into here again? Is it over here? I just need to get back to a control point. And I forgot how we got in here. That's how we got out. Where did we come in at though? Right. Was it through here? It was up there? I guess. All right. Ooh, shotgun. Blasty blasty. Here we go. Control point. <clears throat> Do we have enough yet? I still need four more ability points. Okay. I'm gonna save up. I want it, I want the multi-launch ability. I really want that. Can we do anything gun-wise? Yes, we can upgrade charge. We can also upgrade shatter. I don't know why I'm whispering. I want to do both. We only have one untapped potential though. I'm going to upgrade charged. And then we need those two. All right. We've used charge more. Um, pierce maneuvers. Kill enemies with the service weapon in pierce mode. All right. Uh, where are we going? Synchronicity. That is in the research sector. And I don't think... Synchronicity, where is it? Synchronicity Lab, Ritual Division is the closest. There we go. Do I play Final Fantasy games? Uh, yes, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. Do I play them for the channel? No, because my channel niche and what does well for me is not Final Fantasy. They're really long games too, right? I really enjoy them though. Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy um, Remake are, are big favorites of mine, but yeah. I also like 10 and 10 too a lot. Uh, synchronicity, there's a door right over here. Yeah. New altered item. Question is, where is it? Locate the mirror in the synchronicity lab. Okay, we're looking for a mirror. Hmm. What happened? What did you do? Sussy Baka. I don't trust any of you. You finished Rebirth? Got it. I have Rebirth. I bought it. I want to play it so bad. Mirror testing. Speak of the goddamn devil right here. Uh, yeah, I want to. I, I want to play Rebirth so bad. Why they Beefy games, though, here? aren't they? All right, let's get a control point going. Find a way into the containment cell. Be Will do. Mirror excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. The longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? <laughs> He's speaking in tongues. Unintelligible. Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. 
What's up, dog soldier? Welcome to the stream. Eric Foxy, welcome. Good to have you. Calm down, agent. How can you tell he's not calm? But the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Yeah, dude, the fridge moment was really good, ugly zombie. That happened to us yesterday in my 10 hour stream. Poor Philip. Rip Philip. My name is Philip in real life, so I I, I I felt that dude's pain. Felt him. They had to kill. I, Philip, I, I always die in every game. If there's a Philip, he dies. Altered item examination proposal. Uh, altered item 60, aka the mirror. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. It is transplanar, physiologically generated. No, psychologically generated or rooted within our own dimension. How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through it into our world? Into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is redacted or redacted. Clear that up. All right. Uh, before, I feel like that might be like... I feel like that's the main mission doohick right there. So before we do that, we're gonna... We're gonna do all this. Get all the collectibles and stuff. Uh, altered item behavioral study containing the reflection uh altered item 60 the mirror does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy the environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions it is unknown why the mirror does this if there is any redacted redacted then it's something we can't perceive the popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind that it reflects the world it wishes were real sub subtly i know this word and i have so much trouble pronouncing it subtly replacing our reality with its own while certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Okay, so we have to arrange the black rock panels in a certain order to be able to open the door to the mirror. So we don't want to touch those buttons yet. We're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to find the solution to opening them. We want to leave them in the default position until we're ready. Which is right now, I think. I'm going to save, though. Well, I don't know if that's really... Yeah, it does save when you hit there. Uh, hey, what's up, Camilla? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, Sikar of... Yeah, I like to... Um, there are some games, like, if they don't really fit the channel vibe, but I still like them, it's nice to have some games to play to myself. I won't say I'll never do a Final Fantasy for the cha channel, because I might. But, uh, yeah, I keep those for me right now. I can't tell, so... How does this help me? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Can't tell, so it looks like two of the panels are up there. I'm so confused. Okay, let's just start hitting buttons. Okay. All right. So those are all the panels. Find a way into the containment cell. Oh, the mirror's right there. All right, that just lifted the ability to look at it. Caution. All right, we've opened all of those. How the fuck do I get in? Huh. Save that, I guess? How do I open that? 
these panels need to be in a certain way, right? Somewhere around here is the solution to this. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's usually this means a puzzle and this isn't right. Okay, hold on. What does it show? That's not changing at all. Fuck. Where, where's like the clue or the reference for what the fuck to do here? Hmm. I feel like it has something to do with this, it looks right? Like there's a mirror in there. Okay, that show... Which side is that? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got it now. Hold on. And then this... Yeah... All right, where are the kill? Hold on. Hey, what's up, Abdul? I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I gotta raise all these for a second. What do these shutters do? Okay. There's that camera, right? And then if I go over here, here's the other. I think I got it. I just need to. I just need to. I gotta visualize this. I'm better at visual. Um, and then the other camera is there. It's closer to the caution tape, right? Let me double check this. No, they're both in the same spot. Okay. So then we got to look at the panels raised and see which ones are which. All right, hold on. All right. The shutters so in the image look different. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I already got that. So which side is this though? This is the, here's the problem. I'm, I need a, which side is this? Is this the left side or the right? I'm talking through this chat. I got this. If you're looking, if the, if the door is reflected behind the mirror, this would be the right side. But the mirror doesn't always show the reflection, right? So on whatever side that is, only one of the shutters is down it appears right and i think hold on i got this <laughs> i can't tell which what side is which all right and then two shutters are down on the other side i got that it's just this is the left side i think that's the left side that two shutters are down if you're staring at it this way what two were down again, though? Fuck. This hurts my brain. The mirror shift perspectives hurts my brain. Those two are down. The first two. Or this... Wait, 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 wait. First two or the first... Wait, 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 wait. The two closest to the mirror are down. So it would be these two. This one. And this one. All right. And then... If we get it right, that door will open, right? <clears throat> and this one, the one furthest away from the mirror is down. So that would be this one. That is incorrect. All right. So we got to switch sides then. Be these two. Then this one would be down over here. And these two would be up. Right? Up. Yeah! Oh, come here and let me touch you. That's not creepy at all. 
We're in a parallel dimension. No cameras. Oh, I can't break you guys. Wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Jesse can't talk. Oh, no. All right, what's over here? Oh, well, wait. Oh, no. Wait, it's upside down. Okay, oh, hold on. Before... <laughs> okay, dude. What is the solution to this? All right, I can't even use that. All right, hold on. Oh, God, this is... Everything's fucked up here. <laughs> we have to listen to this so that we get it, so that we can hear it and understand it back in the other place. I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. Oh, this is the recording from the other guy's side. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror. <laughs> she sounds like a fucking psychopath, and he's like, I can't understand you. You're 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 an idiot. What happens if I go like, oh my God, I could go all the way back into this, into this area. Okay. Is there anything different in here? I don't think that that's the solution though. Can't go through these doors. The mirror affected the, like another room out of here. Did you see that? So Is that the mannequin? Oh, it's like, it's like we can see ourselves. It's like. That's that's Jesse in the non backwards world. We're backwards to each other. I got it. Okay, yeah, I'm assuming yeah, we wouldn't be able to leave a certain area. How crazy would it be if they made the entire game backwards just based on this this one little side quest? I'm wearing different clothes over there. Hey, that's that's Essa J. That's Essa J. That's not good. That's hilarious. She looks a little creepy. Why is she smiling like that? What the fuck? Okay. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that one bit. Am I supposed to set down? And then I could just walk in here and it's a bunch of TVs. That's fucking weird. Oh, it's it's me! Oh shit! I'm fighting the backwards version of me! She's not dead though? Like she died right there, but there's still health. Another one. Oh. She's using shield. Ow. I'm gonna die. Fair? Why does she get like multiple? <laughs> defeat, uh, defeat S A J. <laughs> Holy shit! This is so, dude. There, the side quests in this game are so fucking cool. All right, back in, back into the rabbit hole. I actually think though that I need um, 
think I need charge for this. And I can beef up charge, right? Accuracy. Blast radius, 67. We have a better blast radius. Projectile speed, 67 probably. Damage against enemy armor, yeah. And then blast radius. There we go. All right. God, these altered items and the, like, different things that we keep going into and the bosses we fight in them. Oh, they're so good. All right. It was back out this way, right? I'm able to interact with that over there. The solution to it was on this screen in the other world. I might have to switch back and forth between the worlds. It's kind of not fair that she has more health. I know, right? Ow! The fuck was that? Was she throwing my projectiles back at me? Can you give me health, please? Like, help me out at least. Another one. Fuck you, bitch. Perhaps. I might have to change tactics. I might have to use shield against this second. This second one of her is like. It's rough. I might also, I don't know that Pierce is going to be the right weapon because she's too fast. We might, we might give spin a test drive, although we only have one upgrade slot for spin. Accuracy, energy gain from headshots, accuracy, accuracy, rate of fire, ammo refund. Uh, we might do an accuracy up. We might try spin. Can I upgrade spin again yet? Probably not because I just lost a bunch of energy, right? No, I need corrupted samples. Fuck, in 20k. Okay. All right. Spin and charge? Or maybe... Yeah, let's try spin and charge. Why not? I am my toughest opponent, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. I did not predict a boss fight with... Myself, a mirror dimension version of myself. Got her. Nothing but a pale imitation. her up. Got her. Where's the next one? Dude, 
Man, that that uh, I don't really use the 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 ground thingy, and I was not expecting her to bust that out in her repertoire for some reason. That really fucked me up on that form there. All right, I think. I think I think Pierce and Grip are gonna be what I need to go with. Yeah, I was doing pretty good there, but. I just gotta learn her th so each of her three embodiments uses different abilities of mine. So you gotta adapt your playstyle a little bit to each one. This one's using spin and the evade ability, but I can get it with launch. I got too I got too close. God damn it. All right. She's going to be she's tough. I got too close. Sp Pierce is not working right for that for that one. Maybe the shotgun, maybe shatter. Shatter. Yeah, shatter might be the way to go for that. Uh yeah, there we go. Yeah. I did better when I was just flying around, levitating and throwing at her, which I'll try to do more of, too. Did charge work well against this one? I forgot. Um, I feel like, or pierce, I mean, I feel like it did. Another one. And then this next one, fuck, what was she doing? Uh, I'll try Pierce and Grip again. What the fuck? She came from behind? Dude, she came from behind and wrecked my shit! I should not have been standing still. St steel? I should not have been, I should have been steel to avoid that. Holy shit, dude. Uh, what the fuck, dude? All right. Damn. Man, the bosses in this game, especially the later in the game you get, they are no fucking joke. This is not an easy game. I take back what I said earlier. Unlike the first stream. Nothing but a pale imitation. Pierce. Missiles. Fuck, man. I don't know what happened there. I just wasn't on it for that fight. <laughs> no, we just entered a mirror and we're in a backwards dimension now. Fucking insane. Shield would probably help me, but I'm so used to my combat style for this game not using it that I just, I feel like I can't. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try grip on this first form here. Nothing but Got her. In the 
presentation. Fuck, 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 she's behind me. Another one? I picked that up, bitch. That is such bullshit. I swear to God that my launch was locked onto her missile and I picked it up. And no, instead it hit me and took out, tanked my entire fucking health. Bullshit. Personal mod wise, what am I rocking? Energy recovery speed, launch energy cost, shield strength. Get shield strength out of here, dude. Boost. I don't even have my shield upgraded. Uh, health, launch energy cost. Can I, I can stack them. I might actually stack launch energy cost. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I use launch so much. All right, let's go. Now I have a 40% reduction to my launch energy cost. So that means I can launch more before my bar goes down, right? Yeah, she does drop health pellets. I gotta make sure I pick those up. using spin in that final form and like the problem is i'm trying to be a little aggressive which i think i need to be a play better when i'm aggressive but spin is the machine gun right so it's spitting all these bullets out and i don't have a ton of health and all it takes is a couple bullet hits there at the end i guess i gotta pop my shield more i ran around and picked up the health pickups that time though Ugh, i gotta focus too this fight is I don't know, the last like four or five bosses have been subtle. She seems to favor spin in a bunch of her forms. I missed so much right there. you bitch can I cheese this <laughs> holy shit she I stepped out from behind the column she was like <laughs> was spin just got me <laughs> hey take care Panthera thanks for joining and support while you could <clears throat> all right yeah, dude, I'm kicking my ass. You know, there's a fight like this in Elden Ring, kind of, where you fight like a a liquid metal like version of yourself or whatever. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's. 
I found it easy in Elden Ring because of my build. Because I think I, I my character would be weak against what I use. Oh, this is not sick. this is not that though. down a bit here final form right i think i should use pierce and try to snipe we're gonna see how this plays out i don't know if this is gonna work new strat though because she's a little too fast and with spin she's outputting like a high damn she's her spin is really upgraded it seems like with that. She's a little too deadly for me to face head on. Got her. I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. Are you panicking? I'm not panicking. Oh shit, dude. Bitch. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, dude. This mirror up. Play to your strengths, man. I'm really good with Pierce. So that's what I played to there in the end. All right. <laughs> I don't even know where it cleanse the mirror. I got to go back and cleanse it. Oh my God. There's so many of these experiment things in here. What happens if I stop them all though? Do I learn the secrets of the universe? Ah, uh, peace and quiet. No, nothing happened. Okay. I heard there's so many in there and you can interact with them. That's weird. Uh, that's back to the mirror thing. We can't go that way. Anything else we can do or see or anything? All right. I just needed to kill the mirror dimension. Uh, SC SCJ. <laughs> Is that what I needed to do? And now I can cleanse it. Oh, fuck. What the hell? I wonder what the bureau was doing with this thing. yeah i think i could cleanse it but this there's this puzzle up here i don't remember what it looks like on the other side i feel like i wish i could remember what it looked like did it look like any of these i feel like if i do this like something cool will happen right is that i'm trying to make it is that it Yeah, it's one of those locks. But like, what does it affect and how do I make it? Hmm. Like it's upside down, so I'm not sure. I hope we can come back because I need to see the reference. There's no way I'm going to accidentally brute force it without seeing the reference again. Oh, 
Damn, I'm well, not gonna be able to go back, am I? Oh, I can. This is gone. It's dealt with. Good shit. I can go back though. Eight. <gasps> oh, this is locked. Why is this locked? Because I have to be down here on it. Oh, fuck. All right, launch efficiency. Oh, I have to get this last launch ability. All right, my launch damage is all the way up. Now I need eight points to get that. Fuck. Or oh, these last two are two. I feel like I should do that. I'm going to up my health all the way. All right. I have almost have launch fully upgraded. Construct wise, I lost so much source fighting her. Uh, all right. The reference is over here, right? It needs to look like that, but it's going to be upside down. So... Can I turn my head? I want to look at this upside down. Look at it upside down. <laughs> Hold on. See to crouch. I can't see it upside down, dude. I can't see it. If I look at it like this, we look at it kind of backwards. If it's... No, that's not upside down. How do I view it upside down? So... That... Oh, man. Oh, chat. All right. We're back. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh, did I get her outfit? Oh, fuck yeah. Her outfit does look pretty cool. Okay. It's like... I need to wrap my brain around this so when I'm in there, I can do it. I could take a screenshot and flip it. You're absolutely right. Is that dirty? I'm going to do it because my brain doesn't work like that. Oh, uh, hold on, though. Wait, I had to turn on my screenshot thing. <laughs> my brain doesn't work like that. All right, we're going to save that to our desktop. We're going to do that. We're going to come here. Show desktop. Why won't I why won't it show desktop? Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need I need I need I need I need I need to be able to see this desktop. And then we're gonna open. Then we can rotate it in this, right? There we go. Okay. Okay. Good idea, Goober. I knew what to do. I already had the solution to the puzzle. I just my stupid brain won't work it out correctly. All right, let's go back. It's kind of... I'm glad that they thought of this and they let you... They let you do this. All right. Wait, did I have it right? Hold on. I might not have. No, both of those need to be full and then that needs to be in the... Okay. All right. So, boom, boom. Wait. Is that not right? Uh, how will we know? No, and there's only one line there. Okay, hold on. But the rest is right, right? Yeah, the rest is right. Okay. That's it, right? That's... Hold on. Why am I having some trouble with this? That's not it. How do I get the... How do I get the thing... Mirrors aren't upside down. They're backwards. What's up, second chance? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. They're backwards. You're right. So don't turn it upside down because I'm stupid. But this looks... Hold on. The control unit thing looks upside down, doesn't it? Because if you were to...
just mirror the screenshot. Yeah, you're right. So hold on. <laughs> I closed the screenshot. <laughs> so mirroring the screenshot would be... Can I mirror the screenshot from here? Can I... Do I need to take this into... You know what? Fuck it. I work in Photoshop. I don't use the stupid Windows editor. Open with Photoshop. But fuck it, we're doing it! We're doing it! I'll mirror the goddamn image. <laughs> this is so confusing. My brain does not work like this. Why is Photoshop not opening? Oh, it is. It did. It did. All right. Oh, I don't have my, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I, I have my control, my mouse set to, uh, control, not to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? I have it set to, to control controls, not, um, my Photoshop stuff. So, so I flip it. It should be like that, right? Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. 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 That's it. Okay. All right. That's it, right? That's got to be it. Oh, I see. There's a line up there, though. Hold on. I see. There we go. And that opens that. Oh, my God. We got two really good mods. Okay. Oh, the, kit, the cord goes from there to there. Okay. All right, there we go. Photoshop with the save. All right. Let's look at our prizes, though. New. Launch, launch energy cost minus 16%. Okay. And then we got a weapon mod, too. Reload speed plus 19%. That's pretty good. All right. Assets, more tokens. Yeah, mission wise, we finished that. <clears throat> That's DLC. We should probably track down the old friends. <sighs> Can we find the fucking mannequin, maybe? For the love of God. We got a new case file, too. Mirror procedures Victorian mirror, altered item 60. The item should be kept in a. S kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images. Some are redacted redacted, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a redacted distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Redacted has been observed in the test subjects sent inside, believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. All right. And then we already... Oh, wait. I want to try that. Hold on. If we go back over here... No, it wouldn't make sense. That uh, recording is not going to work because you hear Hardy's side. Uh, darling presentation, interviews. Yeah, it would be in here. Yeah, no. It's not going to work because you only get one side of the conversation depending on what mirror reality you're in. Okay, I get it. All right. We need to go back to containment in the prime candidate program. Panopticon's the best way there. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is like this is like the best SCP game I've ever played, but not SCP in its own unique identity at the same time. It's great. So, what's up, Jack Your Lantern? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh oh. Uh oh. Le Pupper has spoken. Hold on. Hold on. Le Pupper. Le Pupper has spoken. She says, she says, walk me, you idiot. So. 
I'm gonna go walk the dog, all right? Quick, quick, quick like 10 minute, 10 minute, all right? 10 minute break real quick. We gotta walk the dog. The puppy has come and stared at me. She says, I must be taken, sir. There will be no, there will be no arguing this. <laughs>
What up, chat? Dog has been walked. Dog has been fed. Skilly has snack. All is right in the world. I got carrot sticks, cherry tomatoes, a couple slices of cheese. A couple of, like, cheese cubes. Just cheddar. Carrot stick. And, uh, creme de la creme soda again. Oh, shit. Fuck. No. All right. Let's resume. Hmm? I heard the truck. I know. You fine. Yes. Good dog. I know. Yeah. All right. What was I doing? Oh, we're going after that guy. She wanted to let me know that there's a big truck outside. It's fine. Uh, you guys are talking about the price of gas. Anybody know the price of rice in China? Isn't that the isn't that the joke one that everybody always talks about? Let's see if I can keep ranch off of my fingers. thing hey what's up ash north 90 welcome to the stream thanks for joining just popping in to say hey can't uh stay because you spend time with your dad before his surgery on the third so i'll be popping in and out to work hey no worries you spend all the time you can with your dad and best wishes on a speedy recovery for him have been made. I can't get out that way. Alright. You know what? Time to hide. Oh, that missed. There we go. Recharge, please. Not that bad, motherfucker. Is there another entity here somewhere? Yeah. Where the fuck is it? Oh. Bitch. All right. Uh, prime candidate program is through the door over here. Oh, I never noticed this. Okay, we're looking for a mannequin, right? Cleanse and contain the mannequin. Containment prime candidate program. We've been here before. I... I, I Tried finding this before. I know that door was open back there, but you could loop around to it this way, so. Alright. Somewhere. Somehow there's a mannequin. Great, here we go. Oh, fuck you, bitch!
little spicy. I got a little spicy there. I I I I, I shouldn't have did that. Damn it, I wish there was a closer fucking thing. I've already been to that secret room, right? At least I think. Let's double. Nobody, we're not going to talk about that, chat. We're not going to talk about it. Nobody said anything. Refresh your screens. Nobody saw it. What's up, surfing penguin? Nobody saw it. I'm distracted. I have food. I can't believe. Hey! Hey, what are you yelling at me for, you phone? I own you, it's not the other way around. We're gonna go room by room again. We watched this threshold, kids, right? It froze. I think because it was in the middle of saving. Yeah, we've watched that before, I think. Yeah. All right. No mannequin in here. All right, this is Dylan's room. We've seen that. We've been here. No mannequin. This is my room. Where they were spying on me. We listened to that interview already. Yeah, I see. I see. No mannequin. Alright, and that's P7. So we'll go downstairs. this go okay we've been in here I believe <laughs> sometimes I have the dumbest deaths in games I swear where is this fucking Altered item mannequin fuck bitch at dude for real God my cursing's bad today. It's bad. Oh How did I miss this? I, I don't remember this. I don't remember this whole thing They're up above me. I do remember this. This is just the curved part, but the lower section. It's freaking me out. 
the the spatialness i don't know what you call it the weirdness of this the spatiality that's that's not even a word i just made that up this really messes with your head i don't like this oops there is no goddamn mannequin here like legit there's not Skilly not swearing is like Skilly without mac and cheese. Don't worry. I'm not. Oh, I see it. I see the mannequin over there. All right, hold on. We can't swear. I need cheese before we mess with it, whatever the fuck that is. Good luck, Allie. What up, boo thing? God. The only oh my god. Creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Where are they? I don't see a few dozen. This is different. Isn't it? Or is it? Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Do I have to find the real mannequin now? Oh, joy. <laughs> I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. Okay. Somewhere, the real one. I don't understand how we tell. All right. Whoever rats on the real one doesn't get the fire extinguisher to the face. What'd you say to me? When we get close, we should hear its whispers, right? I mean, I hear the hiss. Is it, oh, is it gonna be downstairs? Is there mannequins down here? Negative, they're all up there. All right, the only ones we didn't pass by are the ones in the side corridors, right? How do I know what's real and what's not? I can't damage them. Well, I can't damage them that it appears to have any effect. Do they extend to over here? They do not. Huh. I'm so confused. When you're confused, just eat cheese. Sorry. The fuck? Why are they like starting to stare at each other? In some cases. I don't understand this. Like, do I need to go out and touch each one of them? My powers... to have no effect. Wouldn't be the one right next to it. I have to flip the mannequins upside down? Oh, I'll never figure that out, dude. Don't... <laughs> don't tell me that. Alright, this one's like looking down, but it's like... Alright, we're gonna run around down here. Because I know I don't see mannequins down here, but maybe the real one's like hiding away from the deluge of the rest, you know? Maybe he's in the safety shelter. That one mannequin was looking down here, and that one mannequin looked like a sussy baka. That one right there. You find them less creepy without legs? Yeah, I, I'll agree with that. They are slightly less creepy without legs. Mannequins are a bit overused in horror games, but this isn't really a horror game, right? It's an SCP. Did this change? I, 
I don't remember them all being in a line like that. Am I crazy? I could definitely be wrong. Hold on. You know what helps? A tomato. Hmm. Are they duplicating even more? I really don't. What is the mannequin supposed to do? All right, hold on. Do we have a... Um... Uh... Thing about the mannequin? It wouldn't be here. It would be in case files, right? Um, altered world events. No, it would be altered items. Anchor, anchor supplement, balloon, globe procedures, hammer, hand chair, letters, mannequin. Okay, we have the mannequin supplement. And that's it. Because we haven't, we haven't cleansed the mannequin, so we don't have the other piece. What's the mannequin supplement say? Item was owned by Madame. We read this a long time ago. I just don't remember what the... She rarely left her home. Numerous mannequins break through the house windows, tumbling outside. Witnesses reported bright lights. Some report high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house were injured or crushed to death. Okay, so it duplicates itself repeatedly, repetitively, it seems like. Repeatedly slash repetitively. Sorry. Any mannequins out here? So I wonder, do I have to be looking at it for it to duplicate itself? Does it... Fuck. Die, you big bitch. Stop bringing up your shield. You fuck. Oh, we can get an up-close look at him now. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I just had to find the right one. New hero policy. No more mannequins. I feel like they were moving or changing when I was out of the room or not looking at them. I could be wrong. Waste mannequin uh, altered item 7-KE. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update 390. Lining the item cell with the newly discovered black rock has yielded positive tests. Positive results. Tests with other altered items. A wire and fabric waist mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. Yep. The trigger for this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. So it could be like time-based, right? Or related to um, like you looking at it or you looking at certain ones or whatever. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, Panopticon is this way. The security check. We need to get back to the control point. You did the skilly scream and you got him? Hell yeah. The skilly scream works, I'm telling you. Sometimes people be questioning it, but it, it, there's solid evidence to support it. Does he have... Oh, I finished his thing. That's right. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. Do you often see people with abilities like mine? We have some paranaturally inclined agents at the Bureau. Nothing as impressive as you, though. Of course, we did have your brother here. He got a special cell up top. Darling put his own people in charge. Like I couldn't be trusted. I couldn't even get into the room. In my own panopticon. Ah, oh, I tell you, the way that darling runs things, there ought to be an investigation. Anyway, what were we talking about? Langston does not like <laughs> darling, noted. Don't worry about it. Do you know anything about an object of power called the slide projector? Doesn't ring a bell, but Trench's chosen few never tell me anything. Not that I'm complaining. The inner circle works non-stop. I'm pretty sure Darling sleeps under his desk. No, thank you. I have a cat to feed. I hope Blankston's got a pet sitter. Have you ever seen an AWE? I've Not got a cat. Field. The AWEs are just altered items doing their thing. The Bureau goes in, locks everything down, and then they bring me back some clock or a gumball machine that made the town blind or something. <laughs> just like an ordinary, with a slide projector. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall's nice enough. A little too special ops for me. Solves everything with a bullet. Respect and ritual will placate altered items better than any gun. How's that? Some people believe altered items are conduits to extra-dimensional forces which require ritualistic worship to be appeased. It's just a theory I heard. I don't know much about it. I feel like he's a few minutes away from a rant about elder gods and blood rites. I think that's his theory, right? That's Langston's theory. I'll see you later, Langston. Is what it seems like. Hey, I'll what's up, here. Luxie Funky? Like Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. <clears throat> good to see you. All right. We're wrapping up some of these side ones. Uh, DLC, right? DLC. Let's do old friends then. Real quick. I don't know if old friend old fr is old friends DLC. Hold on. Old friends control mission DLC. Old friends is a side mission. Ba ba ba. What does it say? I'm not seeing anything. You know what? We'll go do it. We'll go do old friends. <clears throat> All right. Defeat his corrupted guy. Defeat his corrupted hazard. Cho Thompson is like, it's like we got to do like six bosses. I don't know if they're all going to be boss level, but we'll see. Uh, maintenance, 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 maintenance. Okay, they're all in maintenance. Well. Oh. <clears throat> Couple of them in the same place. We have three. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's upgrade our... Okay, so we have our health and our energy all the way up now. Now, seven more points, and we'll have launch fully upgraded. Then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to focus on next. I don't melee a lot, so I'll probably leave that alone. <clears throat> and that's just a percentage increase for your melee damage. I'd probably want to upgrade my abilities. Like, release the shield, probably, to propel debris. Energy will recover while shield's active. God, that would be good. Shield rush damage, 100%. While holding shield, use evade to rush at enemies and knock them back. Man, I should have been upgrading shield. Sees an additional enemy, sees large enemies when their health is low. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I want to do shield after I get my launch all the way up. Even though I haven't been using it. Oh, yeah. And we completed countermeasures, right? Jukebox token, jukebox token, launch efficiency. All right. What do we got? We're going to maintenance. So we can do his charge. Um, no, no containment. Nope. Give me something different. Uh, maintenance has charged. Sure, why not? We're going to maintenance. Uh, hiss warped. No, there's only one. Oops. Spin maneuvers. No. 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 I should have did that. Uh, use pierce kill in the research sector. No. Nope. Maintenance headshot tactics. Use pierce. What is this one? No. Why is it stuck on 
Without getting hit, kill his snipers in the containment sector. No, kill his troopers. There we go. All right, maintenance it is. We're going to go to the central maintenance one, I think. The one that's right by the power plant. Is it this one? No, ventilation should be right there. Where's the one? Control room chamber right here. That's the one I want to go to because that's like the hub for everything, right? Mmm. My mods are full. You're right. Fuck, dude. I feel like they're always full now. But we can get rid of that. I have damage to en enemy armor on another one. Recoil, 6%. We can get rid of that. God, it's so hard now to decide. Get rid of that. Projectiles spread. Projectiles fired. Uh, I have a plus 10 projectiles, so... Accuracy. We have better accuracy. From headshots. Ammo cost while levitating. That's pretty spicy. Uh, headshot damage. Damage while aiming. Mm, we have better damage while aiming. Accuracy plus 9. We have better. Alright. Weapon mods are back down. Fuck. Okay. I'm getting rid of the shield strength ones that 9% energy 12% we might want to stack energy speed at some point evade cost 15 16 18 18 21 there we go launch we don't need two 16s shield energy cost seize accelerator all right. Why is it still giving me? Okay. <clears throat> Time to go kill some bitches. Oh wait, this is not this is not the point that I wanted to be at. Never mind. Uh, I actually don't know where it is on the map. Then we're right there, the NSC Atlas chamber. You know what? Let's just go to to. It's this one. That's the one I want to be at. I know my way around from this one. Yes. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ventilation, quarry, the coolant pumps, and the energy converters. We'll go there. All right. Coolant pumps. Yep. What's in here? Oh yeah, that's just that room. Been a while since we've been back here. We got to keep an eye open for security clearance doors and places like this that we couldn't go before because I don't think we were here when we had levitate or I could be wrong. Why is there a TV back there? The fire thing. Um... That's the furnace. That was Ati's mission, remember? Are the coolant pumps down here? Yeah, they are. I remember this now. I think. Am I supposed to be able to go in here? It's a bunch of mold everywhere. Is there supposed to be mold everywhere? When did the mold come this way? This is kind of creepy. Everybody's floating and now there's a bunch of mold in here and I don't like it. Alright. Got 
a threshold remnant. There's a locked door here that we can't unlock. It doesn't have a key card thing. These appear to be the bullet pumps, right? Am I supposed... Okay, hold on. Let's go back for a second and work our way. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in there yet. Let's work our way down. Let's be... Let's be good. Yeah, and then this comes out into the room, right? I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. Yep, there we go. I can always get back up if I need to. Now, where is, uh... Aresha's friend? Who's been transformed? Is that him running around? The one guy who spawned? Isn't there one thing that spawned? We saw the red spawn. No clue where he went. Is he not down here? Oh fuck, I hear him. Where did he go though? I hear him, the battle music is playing. Where the fuck is he? Is he through here? I think this is technically where are we at pipe works now we need to be back in that room the music stopped something happened yeah it seemed like he was playing hide and seek i know right all right well maybe i can re-trigger him if we go back out forgot how we got in here we go. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I got him. I should find Happen the stall. Okay, they're gonna be all of those. I got him. All right. Uh, we need to go to the next area. Ugh. Plant. We need to get back to the plant using the elevator. We're waiting on an elevator. Anybody doing anything fun for Easter tonight? I'm being more quiet than normal because I'm stuffing my face. Sorry. There's one in ventilation, right? So we'll go here. It's another one of those disappearing fucks. Infamous Techno, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. What type of bird you got? I guess go down to get the ventilation. Cass, I can't remember if I said hi. Cass, welcome. Is this the thing where I can't remember if I said hi, but I actually already said hi, so I've said hi twice? Can't go anywhere there. What does that say? I hear some fighting in there. Oh, it's... What? This is Ati? Ati's office. Could we do this before? Talk to the plant. They are very good listeners. It's back. You need to scrap the all of it. I just got a bunch of missions. Clear the clog. Oh my god, I just picked up a shit ton of missions from Ati. 
Holy shit. that one that was Joe he's dead all right we need to get back out of here I didn't realize Ati had a bunch of missions on his board right there what was that about uh it was some of Aresh's security uh, personnel who are still alive. They've been alive down here in the maintenance sector for a while. <laughs> yeah. Earlier in the story, like yesterday when we were playing, uh, we ran into all of them. They will eventually die, though, if you don't help them in fights. We need to go to the energy converters, and then we need to do the court. We need to... Uh, Fast travel to the quarry, the Atlas chamber. Here, see, here they are. There's the security office. All right. My eyes open. We ain't out of the woods yet. No, not by far. Energy converters are dis away. Hope you guys don't mind me doing all the side quests. I enjoy getting all the side content and all the extra story and everything about the place. Let me uh, do this. Countermeasure. Jukebox token. Uh, charge maneuvers. I could do that. Let's put charge back on. All right. Oh, I can go in here now. Hold on. Ah! No, don't blow yourself up, Skilly. Just do that. We could not walk in here previously, remember? Because we didn't have the, uh... The antidote wasn't given to us yet for the mold resistance. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Just those items. Really good, uh... Mods. Okay. Yeah, this side quest, the side quest stuff is so good in this game. All right, where's the guy in here? Here's the energy converters. Where's the dude? Show yourself. Right there, huh? His name's Remus. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, dude. Your, your fate has, has been bad enough already. Ow. Can't dodge that, Remus. Gotcha. Okay, we got Remus. Now we need to get back to a control point. Oh, uh, so what I, I do like, they made every, so far, every one of Aresh's old squad mates have been a different type of hiss. So they're not like all the same. All right, and then my control point should be back around this way, right? Yep. I, I actually skipped a control point to come to this one because I'm... A silly, silly boy. All right. Maintenance, uh, quarry entrance, Atlas chamber. There's one in Atlas chamber. Let's go do that. Jeez. Holy shit. It's a guy. You just gotta be aggressive with these guys. Just fucking charge him! Just start pounding him! Got him. Just like Rish said. 
All right, two more. I didn't expect to teleport here and to immediately get into shenanigans, but I did. Blackrock processing. Do we have an entrance to processing? The closest one is the one I'm at. So to go to processing, we would just turn around and go this way. Maybe go up the stairs and then... It looks like we could get to processing from here, but... I'm also not very sure how. Central maintenance, yep. Our agents discovered a light switch cord in a butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to yeah, the Yeah, yeah, we've seen this. Boat. Now, where's the fucking exit here? It should be like. Should be through here. Yeah, that's the way to Black Rock processing, but we can't get there right now. We can't go through there. So. I did a countermeasure though. Collect reward. I don't have surge yet. When do we get surge? All right. No, I can't do that. I can't do that countermeasure. I'm not in. Containment. Oh, I could do maintenance. Could do maintenance if another maintenance one pops up. Maintenance? 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 Give me a goddamn maintenance. I don't like these people. Fine. There. Um, I think I need to fast travel to uh, the can. I don't know where. Ventilation maybe to get to the energy converters to then go there to processing. Yeah, ventilation might, might be my best bet. We were just back there though. You got horses with your wife and you did a day ride for the children? Fire for the did a fire for the kids, marshmallows and stuff like that. That's what you guys did today, D Snuts. That's awesome. Sounds like a nice little family night. Blackrock processing this way. Are you fucking with me, game? Oh, and now it's open. And then we gotta go to the elevator. Yeah, this is where we fought that guy. Over here, I guess, though, is like an elevator, right? No. I'm in the wrong spot. That's the control room. Where does this lead again? How do I get to Blackrock Processing? Control room, energy converters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were here though. How do I get to Processing? I'm missing something. 
I don't remember. I just played this yesterday and I don't remember how to get a processing. I can't believe this. This place is a maze sometimes though, for real. feel like the way the map looks... Okay, that's the control room. That's the only other door out of here, isn't it? How can I get up there? Can I get up there? That's the better question. Can I do this? Haha, <laughs> bitch! Yeah, we can get to the quarry from here. Okay. Hold on. Blackrock processing. Here we go. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, quarry. Oh, we need the elevator. Processing's on one. Okay. <laughs> Let me in. Oops. Take me to processing, please. Process my ass. Have we been here? Yeah, we've been here. At least I think we have. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Berbers? Welcome. Good to have you. Does it help that I played this for 10 hours last night? Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably true. There he is. There's Hazard. Hey, you big fuck. You need to die, okay? He's dead. Hey, what's up, friend? All right, we got one guy left in the quarry, which if we backtrack, we can get to the quarry from where we were at, right? So, yep, quarry is this way. Good shit. Mmm, cheese. Chatbot doing its job. Make sure you allow gifting for the channel. It's free to do, and if people give out gifted memberships, you can uh, be in the running to get one if you don't already have one. Uh, level three? Well, all right. We're right here. Uh, do we have this control point? We do, right? Black wire. Black walk, black walk, black walk. Quarry this way. And I have time for this. Yo. There we go. And then this is going to take us down to the thing, right? Where's the elevator? Do I need to call it? Does it just come up? Is it coming up? Okay, I guess not. Yeah, it is. It just takes 10 fucking years. Because it's so far down. place in the quarry to fast travel to for some reason oh you're right there's a place right there at the entrance i'm a silly billy <clears throat> i don't know man that's a good question it's a really good question hold on leaving now okay so yeah i'll have to stop at about 
6.45, 7, probably. Wait, what time was that sent? Hold on. Ruby, hush. Um, 6.30. So, yeah, like 6.45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I totally could have fast traveled. It's 100% right. All right. To that spot right there. All right, here's the problem. Got him. Before we do that, there's a place in here in the quarry looking at the map that we haven't been. And we have level six clearance now, so we're gonna go try to find that. I wanted to be on that. I wanted to be on that. All right, it's fine. Can I get to this rock? All right. Where's this place? It says it's right up here. Get to it from here, maybe? Did we check out this area? Yeah, we did. We opened the container right there. All right, what does that say? Restricted area. It's not even open yet. That's probably why we didn't get there. Yeah, it says there's like an ele- It looks like there's an up and down elevator. Hold on. Yeah, it's 515. So I got like another hour and a half, roughly. Am I going to be able to climb? We've been, we were up here when we were in the quarry before. Yeah, it's behind this door and we can't open this door right now. So it must be part of like a mission or a story mission. Okay. Well, we just got to go back then. Where's the way out? I need the way out. Get away from me, you funky bitch. Uh, it's back this way. Ah! Right? Yeah, right here. Okay. Wait, this isn't it? Is this not it? Okay. I was about to say, dude. I was about to say. There we go. Fuck this shit, I'm out. It's 10.15 a.m. in New Zealand. God damn. It's early for y'all, but it's a, it's a Monday, right? You're on Monday. I'm still on Sunday. Or is it the other way? Where's the control point? Turn around. All right, central executive. Talk to A-Rash. Woo. It's Monday for you guys? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mondays suck. <laughs> I need the containment protocols for it. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... Well, it's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now, the story's confidential, but, uh... Well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. 
Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, <laughs> there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. Somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? Hey, we got two ability points, so I'll take it, bro. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. So, an altered item uh, or place of power essentially caused werewolves to be real. That's pretty funny. All right, I need five more ability points for that. Countermeasures we're still working on. I did not get the uh, the 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 mirror dimension versions of me of me outfit for some reason i don't know why oh i can upgrade shatter let's do it so now i only need to upgrade spin right because if i go to weapon forms all of them have three slots except for uh well shatter has three slots i just don't have three equipped because i'm a silly billy uh accuracy shatter could use more accuracy probably projectile spread recoil ammo refund recoil might be nice damage plus 53 percent for a shotgun yes please why can't i upgrade oh i haven't upgraded yes yeah, spins the one i haven't upgraded all the others i've upgraded all the way to level three except for spin and then we don't have surge surge is the form i don't know if that's a dlc one or what but we just haven't unlocked it that might be like the very last one all right, jukebox. God, what is this? Uh, talk to the plants in central research. All right, buddy. I'm. He's got. Uh, he's got me doing. Uh, Adi's got me doing all this weird shit, man. I don't know. Is this the best one to get there? Central research, probably. Right. It's still a. It's still a holiday here too. Uh, I think in the U.S., uh, technically, the holiday is Monday, too. Um, for jobs that actually give you holidays. He wants me to talk to the plants. And central research. What is that even like? Do I go to the tree and talk to the tree? Hello, tree. How are you? How's it growing? How's it hanging? You feeling leafy? Ati, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to complete this mission. This man has told me to talk to the plants. Okay. Sure thing, bud. What a mess. Talk to the plants. Talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least I can't talk back. Oh, here. I... Hope your day has been productive. <laughs> <Little> plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? I need to talk to the trees to get to the root of problems. So am I looking for all the plants to make them grow? That was pretty cool. I just made them grow. There's a lot of plants around here though, bro. So I gotta find all the dead plants and talk to them. There's more than that one, right? It's a, just a radio back there to turn on, not a note. We've been here before. Here we go. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. Ati's a weird dude. Are these like interdimensional plants that that motherfucker has brought from other dimensions? I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. <laughs> you don't have leaves, Jesse. What the fuck are you on about? Uh, we've been in there. We've... Oh, maybe one of them's in here. I forgot what this area classifies as again. What is this? Acoustic research. Oh, yeah, that's this place. Never mind. We've done that. They are extra sensitive. I could turn you into a house tree. <laughs> All right. Second floor here. So, I guess... For each of these Ati missions, find his janitor's cart, right? And then from his janitor's cart, you'll be clued in as to what to do. And then you can run around and do whatever the task is, right? All right. 
There'll be some probably on each floor here. We just gotta find the proper plants to talk to. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't see any dying plants. Is there... Was this a plant over here? That needs saving? Do you need a talking to plant? Call Jesse Fadden. She's the best plant talker there is. Hello? Where's all the dead plants, man? Are, there can't be... They can't be in the... Can't be talking... Are there any in here? No. Okay. I don't see any more dead plants. I do see bad guy, though. Fuck you, bitch. Kinda still in central research, kinda not. I see one. How is that not a dead one? Why can't I talk to it? That's totally a dead plant. Why can't I talk to it? Does this not count as central research? That don't make any dang sense. That's not central research. That's the HRA lab. We've been... Yeah, we've been here a thousand times. Perhaps it's time for me to turn over a new leaf? You're right. How many more plant puns do you think we can all come up with collectively? You think we can photosynthesize some together? A couple more? Something I did in there did not make somebody happy. Can talk I to that one down there. I miss him a lot. That I couldn't talk to before. You know, these things keep showing up and you can interact with them everywhere. This is Darling's office. We've been here before. And you can either make them swing or make them not. I I, I just wonder like if you put them all in the game into the same position, is there like a secret? I've stopped them all from swing from swinging. I, there's only this one other plant, but it looks like there's gonna be like two more minimum Yeah, here we go. It's cuz bad people you were out. I'm the director, but What does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no This might be training. the last one Nope, there's one more Fuck dude, where is it? I know where it's at. It's not in the secret room, but it might be in this place. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Shit dongles. All right. Well. I guess we can make a loop around and check everywhere again. There's one more goddamn plant. I didn't look in this place before. It could be hiding. Nope. It's not there. I really expected one to be. It is. <laughs> look at it in the dark over here. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. That's odd. I'll chlor your fill. I kind of wish there were more. I got ability. Oh, Our this is going to get me my ability point thing. All right. Uh, where's the control point down here? 
Where's the control point again? It's up, isn't it? And I fucking came down. The control point through there. It's that luck and probability. There's also the sector elevator. We could just use that. You know... Where's luck and probability again? Oh yeah, it's that- it's the weird space over there, that's right. It's right up there. It's the space that, for whatever reason, it's- it's really strange to- to reach. Five ability points. No, yeah. All right, where are we going? Uh, what do we want to do? Clear the clog? Sure. Maintenance sector at the pump station, I assume, and maintenance, right? Yep, it's in maintenance. Ooh, at the pump station. This is probably the closest one. And then go back through the hole. You're talking to plants too? If you have shit dongles, do you need more or less fiber in your diet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what shit dongles are. I just made that up on the spot if I'm being real honest. <laughs> I know what they sound like though, and it's gross. Yeah, maybe more fiber or less. I don't know. Ta Taco Bell will fix it. That's for sure. There you go. That's what you do. You just Taco Bell it out of your system. Mold's gotten in just here go too. have a couple Dorito Loco tacos All and you'll right. be good. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. All right, how do we clean, though? Did you guys see, like, his rapid head movement? It was really off-putting. I don't know if anybody else caught that, but that was... I don't think I've ever paid that close of attention for some reason. I'm usually just shooting them in the face immediately. Oh, uh, that was... that was... I didn't like that. Yeah, be honest. Jesus, man. All right, where was the... Do we have to keep going down? How do I get to this secret through here, right? Kind of. This is the old pipe works, though. We were just here, but this isn't gonna get me... This isn't going to get me to that secret room. I think I need to fly up to the mold place, I guess. I don't know. Where do I need to go for this? Over here? Over hither? What does this door do? Yep. Oh, that's... Oh. This door must have been locked before. Hello again, Mr. Clog. Hey. You really let yourself go. Hey, collectible. Uh, sim simulacrum. Oh, this is the water cooler thing we saw in the in the in the containment sector. Altered item fifty three dash ke. We didn't know what it did. No unique procedures required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It has been known to take the form of the following objects: ring of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler. Glasses, mail tube, spoon. The item is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula I.14 or I.32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. The item was initially discovered within the bureau itself, whether an agent brought it inside intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house is unknown. 
So it shape shifts into different objects around it. Hmm. I need a battery. I need two batteries. All right. Uh, the, everything's locked. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get battery. Ooh, everything's not locked. Ha! Bitches. All right. Is there another battery here? Negative, Ghost Rider. So, well, I shouldn't have put you there. I actually need to put you here. To then get this. Because I need two batteries out there, right? So we'll do that. And then we'll take you. That door's not open. Then we'll do that. And then we can do this. Go to the lower level and push the clog back. Alright, let's do it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. The clog was nasty last time. You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to put on shatter. Shotgun with more shots. Or, you know, like Pierce. Like my sniper. Powerful, but more shots. I don't like these things, dude. Why is it not dying? I think the spread is too much. Oh, I left. I left charge on. I should probably just use charge then. I sincerely hope we never meet again. Oh, was that it? Okay. All right, these are very basic. All right, I just need to get out. And then what are we doing next? We're gonna do clear the mold. Even more mold. Okay, let's do it. What sector was that in, though? Uh, Containment sector. Okay. Where the fuck did I come in here? The last thing you want to do is... <laughs> finger. I don't know, man. Who invented... Uh, never mind. We don't need to go into this. I don't need to go into that topic. I was about to say some stuff. I was about to overshare. I was going to be like, I don't think I've ever had a Diggleberry. We'll just leave that there and then move on. Who? So. What's going on that people be getting stuff like that? Did I get up there before? Ruby, hush. Okay. <laughs> Goober said I like clouds. <laughs> I love it, Goober. Goober desperately tried to move the conversation around away from something that I started. <laughs> Thanks, Goober. <laughs> Oh, I got... Oh, yes. We have fully upgraded launch. We now have multi-launch. Let's fucking go, guys. All right. Uh, countermeasures. We have not completed any of those. Need to fast travel to containment. And we need to go to the medical wing. Man, there's not anything... I honestly think the Panopticon one might be the closer one. And then just run back. Yeah. What's up, Lucanator? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Ruby barked there for a second. I, I think somebody's getting some landscaping done across the street. And then so they brought like, you know, several big trucks with like mulch and stuff. And she's like, she's like, not a fan. Let me through. Let me through. 
<laughs> now everybody's just saying what they like. I love it. <laughs> All right. Where medical wing? Medical wing? Is this the medical wing? What's the door say? Mechanical room. Do not think that that's the medical wing. The medical wing seems to be prime candidate transit corridor down here. Perhaps. Logistics, logistics. Medical wing. Here we go. All right, clear the mold, right? <gasps> Man, having the antidote is so nice. Oh God, this place is full. I'm mean, gonna I have to clear out my weapon modification things, aren't I? Clock. Yep, <laughs> I called it. 18 out of 24 are weapon mods. Yep. Okay. Uh, oop, oop, oopsie daisy. Did that change something? Energy gained from headshots. No damage while aiming. No, 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 no. That's not what we had on accuracy. Damage while low on health. Damage while aiming. 47%. What did I have on this? Zoom, damage after kills, damage after kills. Damage plus 38%. Uh, you know, put that back. I think that's what I had. I'm not sure though. All right, but I do need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, damage after kills 64, 54. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Get rid of the recoil. Oh, both of those are too good though. Reload speed, zoom. Mm, the choices. The choices, the choices. I think that's all I want to get rid of right now. That's only three though. Pierced aim fire boost. Okay. So we're looking for the source of the mold in the medical wing essentially, right? And eradicate it. That door's locked. We couldn't get in here before. Either. I like that the side missions bring you back to places you couldn't go before, too. Energy boost? Alright, hold on before we do that. Mark Gibson, male, age 28. Returned from the astral plane. Oh, Marky Poo. 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no- What's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Till about 6.45-ish, probably. Just had an alien scene. Holy shit, code black. That's not good. That's bad. That's bad code. Danger. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. All right, where are we? We are here. We needed to keep going this way. Follow the mold. Hot thing. In here too? All right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. All right, how do I... How do I clean the mold out of here, though? I hear a bunch of gurgling noises. Fucking asshole. Why is all of a sudden my mouse button showing up for, like, what I can pick up to levitate? It didn't used to do that. I can tell by the outline. Why is that showing up all of a sudden? Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, I killed all of them. Now the question is, what do I need to do here? To get rid of the molds. Is it in here? Storage room, probably. Right? Maybe not. Yep. Oh, I need to find all of those. Okay. Forgot about that. Oh, I see. Ew. Follow the squelching. Squelch, squelch, motherfucker. There's not any in the mechanical room. Probably some in there. I don't see any more. Oh. There's one. Are there is there more in these in these little rooms here? Nope. 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 Oh. Ugh. Alright, there's gotta be one over there on the left. Hold on. Another one, I mean. <laughs> Fucking Ati. Is there not? Oh, there's not. Where's the other one then? It's been like that since yesterday's stream, and I have I really not noticed? Huh. Oh, maybe because now I have I have the multi-launch ability, right? Yeah. Three items at once. That's right. Ruby! Chill! You okay? By the way, if you guys are like, how do you know what's going on if you're not even stepping out there? We have a ring doorbell. So, that's how I know what's going on. Um... Where's the mold pimple? Water? I should drink water. My observational skills aren't the greatest, but it's pretty much... Hey, what's up? What's your problem? It's fine. I know. I can see. I see what's outside. I know. They're, they're fine. They're not going to attack us. You okay? You fine. You fine. Yeah, just lay in your bed. Hey, hey. Don't do that. Ruby. Ruby. I oh, know. That's not yours. That's not your I know. Stay in your bed. Stay in front of the bed. I work. No, we played this morning. Yeah, we'll play tonight. All right, I think she's placated. I don't know. Okay. All right, I have missed uh I've missed a fungal pimple have nine that's probably fairly obvious. A little bit distracted with the dog being silly. All right. Storage room? We did the pimple in here. Oh my god. Is that... No, that's not it. Where is it? I'm gonna feel so dumb when I actually see this thing. I thought that was just regular mold growth. I thought it was just regular mold growth. It's not my fault. It was a weird. It was a weird thing. It was a weird thing. All right. Looked like it was in a weird spot. Where's the closest control point again? Oh, yeah. It's like all the way back, right? This way? Oh, 
What is this? Mechanical room? No. Through here? Oh, this is the prime candidate. Let's do here. Transit corridor, yeah, right? No, how do I get out of here? There was a quicker way. What have I done to myself? Panopticon this way. There we go. It is definitely clearer their chance. Yes, 100%. Where are we going now? By the way. Another eradicate the mold and then we've got all of Ati's little thingies finished. Then we'll continue that main quest. <laughs> she is giving up trying to tell me that there are invaders outside of our house and I should pay attention. She's now, instead of laying in the big comfy like $100 dog bed that we have for her, she is laying directly next to it. <laughs> on the floor, on the cold, hard, hardwood floor. That's where she chose to lay instead of in her dog bed. <laughs> All right, I want to uh, get I want to get my shield disability, right? I need three points now. Uh, maintenance, where are we going? Coolant pumps again? Really? Okay. Well, sure there, buddy. There's uh, this one will get us there. Yeah, she's mad probably at me. <laughs> she's ready. She's going to pounce on the invaders. How dare that they deliver mulch and do some in bushes and stuff to our neighbor. That's not allowed. It's inexcusable. Hey, what's up, Hunter's Heart? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Fuck. Fuck. What's going on? Ow! I gotta find the mold pimples again. Oh, God, this is gonna take me. All right. <laughs> Poop, scoop, and doop. Poop, scoop, and doop. Are those not mold pimples? Hey! Who the f was that? Who was it? Which one of you motherfuckers? I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't see him. I thought there was nobody up here with me. Hey, what's up, Corey? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. I am always messing up somehow. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, cool and bumps this way. Was it? It wasn't the. Was it the mold shooting back? It might have been the. It might have been the mold shooting back. All right. Uh, Fatal, welcome to the stream, by the way. Good to have you. Mold's gotten in here, too? All right. Let's get cleaning. <laughs> Bitches. Bitches. Gotcha. All right, is there mold down here? No, it's all... It's, it's up there, mostly. Well, there's a little... There's a little... There's a little bit right there. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, I got to fire it somewhere. Oh, I see you. Oh, you think you're safe? Oh, oh, oh. Bitch. Can, can they stop spawning, please? I'm just trying to, to eradicate. I'm trying to be a janitor. I'm trying to clean this place up. And these fucking assholes. All they want to do is mess with me. Oh, 
Hey, hey. There we go. All right. Is that all of them? All right, where's the mold? Where's the mold dingles? Where are they? I like you. There's one mold dingle. Is that just a rock? Oh. How are these not? Is it that? No. The fuck is all the mold pimples, dude? They're being sneaky. Oh, Ati's cart is right here. Should have found the cart first. Can't go through there. All right, I should probably check the other side then, right? With oh, those sneaky bitches. Look at that. Hold on, guys. All right. I think. <laughs> Dude, what a hidden fucking thing. Sons of bitches. I caught the glimmer of that just like out out of my out of the corner of my eye just barely. All right, we need like two more. If you see him, chat, you can call it out. Cuz it's it's just If you see the the mold bubbles, call it out to me. I see one. Right? Nope. Damn it, dude. Look on high roof? Ooh. All right, one more. Uno mas. Donde esta? <gasps> How do I... Can I even get up there, dude? Fuck. No, I don't think I could go there. The light's too bright. We got that one from right here, but yeah. I couldn't even see to... Yeah, we can't levitate. We can't levitate that high. We're looking for one more. This cannot elude me for this long. There's like no mold down. Like none. Where is it? Is that it? No. Yeah, no, they, I, it's definitely, the game definitely messes with you some. It is definitely hard to tell what or go sometimes. I am doing pretty obscure side missions too right now. So. All the mold is exclusively located up here. Huh. Was it not on the center catwalk? I I shot one that was up there. This stuff here though doesn't seem to be like this isn't a that's not it, right? That's not it. And then this, well I thought it was, I think that's just a like it doesn't do anything. Oh, I think I see it. There we go. Woo! 
All right, that's all of uh, Ati's little side quests on his board right there. We got a collectible from what? Medical? Gibson. Oh yeah, we 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 read that. Mission wise, okay, those both are DLC. So now we just gotta go to dimensional research, which we need. I'm gonna go back this way. I need to get to the. Uh... Yeah, I need to get to the control point, and we'll teleport. Continue main story. Finish all the side stuff. <laughs> Nice job, Skilly. Breaking the mold. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but dumb tests for you. All right. I have trace ability points. I can unlock my uh, shield propel now. There we go. All right. Can I upgrade? It's corrupted samples. I think I need to fight mold for that. I could upgrade the level of stuff I get here, which let's do that. Let's get this all the way, all the way going. All the way spicy. Now we need 25,000, a corrupted sample and shifting fragments. So now all the ones, if we want to try to craft, they're either prime or absolutes. All right. Level five, level six is the last one. All right. And that's going to be a while. I mean, 20,000 is nothing. Corrupted samples. I don't know when we'll get that, but... All right, main story, research, Paris. We need to go to the ashtray maze. I knew at some point that this would come into play. All right. Luck and probability is probably the best one. That's central research. All right. I don't remember exactly how to get to this place. It's across a fire break. All right, we'll just go here. This is going to take a minute. It's fine. Raym, what's up? Welcome to the stream. He's a fun guy. Fun guy. Get it? I like it. All right. Uh, It's not through luck and probability, though. It's back. It's like... <laughs> they just got they got destroyed dude just got wrecked all right this is dr darling's office dimensional research is this way here we go We've, we've been here before. We opened the ashtray maze, but we couldn't do anything. Hello? Hello? It didn't take me as long to find as I thought. What do we have, though, that's different now other than the story mission to let us through? Control point. Find Ati. Okay, contact the janitor. We need to find Ati. Okay. We just needed the story mission to actually be able to do this place. Ati! Oh, Ati! This place is too small to use. Um, there we go. Actually, you know what? Hold on, Shatter. Oh, Ati. Dude, this place is so fucking weird. All right, how do I contact? Yeah, but this is back at the start. Oh, I need to go to the janitor's. Oh, okay, I got you. And then I can teleport back here. I'm being silly. I completed a countermeasure too, by the way. Uh, Hiss warped. Wait, no. No. Containment incursion, no. Maintenance excursion. It's charged. There we go. Uh, do I have a thing to teleport right next to him, maybe? He's back in maintenance. Ventilation is the easiest way to get to him? Yeah, ventilation is the easiest way to get to him. Later, Hunter. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. Support it.
Why did it switch to... Because we need to get through the ashtray. This is... That was the dimensional research area. And we don't know how to get through the ashtray maze. And the game was telling us that we need to find Ati. And he will be able to tell us how to navigate the maze. He's got extra dimensional knowledge, right? Janitor's office this way. He actually just came to his office not too long ago. Yep, oh, here we go. Like, literally, when we picked up all those missions and then started doing them, right? Here it is. There's no Ati. I guess I just take a seat. <laughs> There's no Ati. So I can sit down and wait for him. Wait. Take a break? That's a new mission, literally? What about the painting? Hold on. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki What? My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomile lumps, holiday humps. The fuck are you talking about, dude? Out of here while the building's sealed. Let alone go on a holiday. Okay, oh. <laughs> Dude, what is that guy saying, dude? Ati's cabin. Lamalil Lomps Holiday Humps. The sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kasu is in the ice. Uh, take a break? What do I do? This is what being a janitor is okay. all about. <laughs> I had a mission to do this, so why not do it? Why not take the break, baby? Is he eventually going to show? I want to go to the vision and find him. Then she got tired of waiting. There's an outfit over there. I suppose the janitor's assistant does need proper janitor attire. Okay, I got a janitor's outfit. And I got four ability points for just sitting on my ass. That's... That's what being a janitor is about, right? That's so fucked up. All right, let's go. Let's go meet Auntie at his cabin. The fuck? Okay. Fuck you, bitch. started to pick him up and he died if you're wondering what happened to him there because i can launch large enemies that door is locked Ooh, spicy whoa that doesn't open i think i'm supposed to go there but we'll double check here yep Okay, and that's where I came from out there. There's a opening right there. Probably needed to be up there to be able to do that, but. Huh? Ah. Oh, why my phone talked to me? All right. Security center. Another control point. Before we do that, what do we got here? Finance complaint? Uh, reply, the furnace. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating and who's in charge of it anyways? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little, I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. Ati is like in charge of the furnace, I think technically, right? Or like it was, he was the one who gave us the mission about the furnace. I do have more ability points now. Uh, I like levitate too though, shield strength. 100% to shield barrage. Okay, we have four. Let's do that. Okay. And then um, more to levitate. 
All right. All right. Huh? Is this the right way? Oh, there's a lot of mold. I should get some corrupted samples from these guys, though, I think. Hopefully. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Yep, there was a corrupted sample. I actually need these corrupted samples. Two for one, baby. No, give me corrupted samples. I need corrupted samples. Am I full again? Fuck, man. All right, not on this one, but I'm full on the other one. What is this? Uh, C speed, get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. That's uncommon. Uh, 9%, 9%. We only need one of those. Get rid of that. Okay, and then... How do I have 26 right now? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't know what to get rid of. 33 and 36. Exclusive to Pierce. We'll only do one. Uh, dodge after kills. Accuracy. We could double stack those on Pierce, though, if we wanted to. We get rid of that. Okay. All right. Spin grouping efficiency. There we go. Folly, follow Ati's visions. Oh, it's a threshold. Right? Or at least it looks like it. Yep. Rule of three. Uno. Dos. Tres. It's not a loop, it's a spiral! It's not an upside down triangle, it's an upside down black pyramid! Okay. All right, we know how this place works. Ding, ding, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, hi, mold. All right. I hear Ati talking. Turn them all on, maybe? Tune them all to Ati? So we can get his location? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Again? Something happened. Maybe the mold is gone now? It is. Oh yeah, it got splatted by Ati's voice and we have the key. Now... Question is, what door does the key open? Ruby. All right. Hold on. I'm going to have to walk Ruby. Maybe she has to go out. I just walked you not too long ago, girl. Uh, all right. Maybe it goes somewhere else. All right. Hold on. Quick break. Quick five minutes. Doggo walko. Doggo walko. We will be back. Maybe if I just take her outside and she sees what's happening, she'll stop freaking out. <laughs> all right. Give me five, guys. I'll be back. And then we'll find Ati.
What'd he do? All right. The dog has warned everybody. And used the potty, so we should be good. Whew. Uh, all right. What did I miss? Huh? Dave, not the one. Welcome. Famous uh, Echo. Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Who else? Maria Montanoia. Welcome. Good to see you again. Appreciate you being here. All right. <sighs> all right. Where's the key go that Ati gave us? Does it go to any of these places here? Normally it goes to the black triangle or it has the whole game so far. Now it doesn't. This is interesting. To go to the casino. Do I have to open the doors again in a different order? Can I leave the motel with this key? Oh, this door is open now. No, it's not. This door is... I don't know what to do. I feel like is my game glitching out? Normally when you get the key, I picked up the key, right? Normally when you get the key, it goes to one of these places. It, go, it goes, it goes here. Do I turn the radios off now? I'm going to turn the radios off, see what happens. If I'm allowed, because now that radio is off. This radio, though, is still on. I can't shoot it. I can't turn it off. Yeah, it is getting... It is getting near the time to end the stream. Family should be coming home here. In probably another hour. So I'll end at like 6.45, 7-ish. Does my key work now? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm stuck here. Like I picked up the key. You know what? Let me turn the radios back on and make sure all the doors are closed, and then we'll we'll try. I feel like I don't know if I messed something up or I'm not understanding something. No, it's 6:24 p.m. for me, Eastern Time. The coxic. Sound like he said coxic. All right, close this door then. All right, all the doors are closed, right? No, that door is open. I got the key out of the first one though. What am I doing wrong? Huh? <gasps> oh my god it unlocked the janitor's room that makes so much sense i'm an idiot dos trace follow ati's visions oh this is that control point in the black quarry that we i tried to get to last stream for like 15 minutes that i couldn't get to holy shit i can't do anything can i nope Hell yeah, dude. Albany summary? What? Uh, Albany Altered World Event 29. A response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Redacted Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved Altered Item 63. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Redacted Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent Redacted accompanied a squad of ranger trainees to site as, that's Aresh, right? To the site as a form of field training, the likelihood of a genuine 
AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. This is what Aresh, what, what, why his team wore silver bullets, right? Remember? Oh yeah, dude. All right. Okay, and he wants us to go over there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it. Uh, shiitake shit mushrooms. Gotta get back. Okay. This is where we came out. All right, we're good now. There's like fighting going over on over there or something. I think I can make this all the way. Oh, the restricted area. So, oh, oh yeah. We just had to progress the main story. Does the elevator come or do I go down? I think I go down. Ah! <laughs> all right. If I didn't have levitate, that would have been death, right? <laughs> uh. What does this say? Restricted area. Security! I'm in the restricted area. Security. Security? Security? Security! Cable cart control? We're gonna get a cable car? I want a cable car. Bloop. Bloop, boop, but scooped. Is this how we get to Ati's little hidden place, really? Who is that? Oh, that's a bad guy. <laughs> what was he doing? He was trying to figure out how to get an Ati. Uh, Albany supplement. Uh, so upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise redacted along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates and accelerated physical redacted from redacted rendered field agent redacted and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found altered item 63 at the origin of the redacted attracting and repelling debris. It, oh. Is the altered item the 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 black things that we can't kill the the black balls that keep bringing and repelling debris at the same time? Uh, they stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which the point altered the effect. Wait, wait, I read that wrong. They stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. So the three that were rendered unconscious and then the building collapsed, they survived? The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians and thus no reinforming by the communications department was required. They didn't have to men in black anybody. That's what that means. Excuse me? Oh, hey, what's up, bitch? I remember when you used to be a problem, fuck. Hey. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, touch me? Who said you could touch me, bitch? Oh, I'm gonna have to fight until the cable car gets here. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you, boo. Have your friend's dead body. Sit down. 
Are you fucking? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you killing? Are, are, you, are you kidding me? Hey, Ruby. All right, I don't. Oh no, we're back here. I don't got time for this shit, motherfuckers. I just want to get to Ati. What's up, Melon Cow? Wow, welcome, Dog Soldier. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Here we go. Our friend is still in here. He's like, oh my god, what are you doing here, man? How long is it gonna take for this thing to come across? All right, I'm just going to chill here and fight from here. up at some point can i jump across to it god it's so slow energy bar right so yeah i could as i could essentially just run around and just set back and telekinesis everything and everyone all right cable car is here i wonder what song Ati's singing didn't we have a couple finnish viewers yesterday anybody translate the song from finnish Anthony Corzo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Where's the radio playing this? I can't like walk on this while it's moving. Oh, I'm gonna, I, I better stop. Nowhere. We're going to nowhere? Wait, in Alan Wake 2, Ati talks about being from nowhere or going to vacation in nowhere, I think. So this is actually, we're going to his place. The cable car's like rocking. I don't like it. It doesn't seem very safe. I want grip out before we get over there. I'm gonna end up like Giorgio if I don't stop moving around on that thing. That's true. R.I.P. Giorgio, dude. Dead Space 2 and 3 are on my list to play with you guys. But I'm torn because I'm pretty sure the Dead Space remake did so well. Fantastic game, by the way. That they're probably going to do a Dead Space 2 remake at minimum. So I'm like, do I want to play 2 before the remake happens? But it'll probably be several years. Or do I want to... So I want to continue Isaac's story. 
Because it ended on a fucked up notion, didn't it? Isaac seeing his dead wife when he was getting away. Maybe I'll find Giorgio down here. Ser Kieran Tango. So it's some kind of tango song. Interesting. What does this do? Bring the lift back, I assume. Yo. What the fuck? This is nowhere? There's something up ahead. Do you see it? I mean, yeah, kind of. This is so weird, though. All right, hold on. Plastic tree supplements. Holiday memories tree, altered item 14. Uh, the results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery. This allows us... Uh, altered item 14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific strings of, string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward and to think there are still more words to be found. Holy shit. So I was wondering, this is by Theodore Ash, who I think was before Dr. Darling, right? This tells us how they got the rituals and the chants that they used to control some of the altered items. Uh-oh. I hear a beer. I see a Finnish forest. Hey, good. What are feeling? Holidays holy. He's telling me not to bother him. He's on holiday. I can't help it, Ati. I need your help. Shit. Oh, Ati? shit. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have piss in your sock? Did you have piss in your sock? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. Why? It will He's get you through success? the maze so you can do your job. What the fuck? Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. What the fuck, dude? I don't know what to make of that. So, like, Ati is almost in, like... Oh, look, there are runes. Those are Norse or Finnish or something. Right? Very astute observation by me, right? <laughs> Holy shit, though. Do I want to continue with levitation? God, I like levitating. And being able to levitate further would be nice. Or shield. I want the evade rush, the shield ability, so we're going to keep going. Yeah. I also want to do levitate, though, so bad. Um, Astral constructs, I'm assuming we can't do it. We need one more corrupted sample, and we can upgrade spin, and then we'll have all of our forms upgraded so far. Exciting times. Upgraded all the way, I mean. I just want, what happens if I... Does this just go on infinitely, or is there an actual end over here? place is creepy okay so mr diamante said skilly the song is about the hero of a thousand faces that traverses dark travels so it's about ati because ati has many different jobs many different faces many different faucets to his character right and he obviously is a pair utilitarian or an intradimensional being and can travel between uh dimensions and universes right i mean case in point th this right here we crossed a threshold to get here, right? So that's what I'm learning. It is a pretty song. It is a pretty song. Lyrics are too long to post. 
I'll have to look it up. I, uh, there was the name of it. I'll have to Google it after this because I'd just like to read it and see what it says. Yeah, Michelle, I'm still going. Uh, we're getting ready to stop here soon. Um, Polaris is the next thing. What are we at mission-wise? Reach dimensional research. Okay, so we have to go back through the ashtray maze. Wait, why am I going this way? My big dum dum. My big dum dum. Frederick Rodriguez. Actually, it is 6:42. My family's gonna be home sometime between 7 and 7:30, probably. So I think this is actually where I'm gonna call it. Unfortunately, we we found Ati, and we know how to get through the ash tree. Uh, ash ash tree. The ashtray maze now. We just put on his... He gave us his cassette player with headphones. I think that's a good stopping point. We can pick back up their next stream, right? We cleaned up a lot. These are DLC, but we cleaned up all of the other side missions that we had, which is good. These are just countermeasures, right? Which are like the enemy thingies. So we're good there. Multimedia. Hold on. There might be one more thing here before anybody goes. Yeah, so hold on. I got to make a note of this. Sarah Tankin. Actually, let me just do this. And save that to my desktop, right? I want to look that up. Heroes Tango. Okay. We have a hotline call. Let's do that. And then that, and that'll be a good place to leave off. You have seen the foundation slash base of the building slash tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there, everywhere. We have a socket slash door there. It is a direct link. Interesting. Not sure I understand that board, but okay. All right, one last thing before anybody goes. I want to check something. I think I did something cool this weekend, and I need acknowledgement. <laughs> I need validation, chat, okay? All right. <clears throat> we watched that. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's touch this to save again. We have the janitor's assistant outfit. <laughs> I want a cool looking outfit though. All right. Um, all right. We have saved. Let's quit though. I think I did something cool this weekend and we're going to check the channel real quick. All right. I want to see something. All right. Let's go to my channel. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I need to do some quick math. This is really meta. I'm live streaming right now. And then... Oh, man. My thumbnail does look kind of cool, doesn't it? Sweet baby. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm not trying to be over cocky or confident. I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, so I streamed... I streamed Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I, did I stream Thursday, too? Three days ago. No, that would be Tuesday. Okay. So, anyway... I think I streamed 24 hours this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hold on. What's eight hours plus 10 hours is 18 hours plus five hours would be 23 hours plus 44 minutes. We're at five hours and 44 minutes plus 38 minutes. Hold on. I can't do that. 44 plus 38 is 82 divided by 60. 1.3 hours plus eight plus 10 plus five I streamed for 24 hours we could take off the 0.36 because I took a dog walk breaks right bathroom breaks we took a couple breaks here and there I streamed for 24 hours in the last three days holy shit <laughs> I that's insane I can't believe that god damn I've been releasing a lot of content, too. I've been doing a lot of edited videos. Hey, if you haven't watched it already, I released a video on Oh Deary. It's a really silly, funny, got a little bit of a horror tinge to it game. It's with IGP, Dre, iCrusty. If you haven't watched it, do me a huge favor. Go watch it. I'd really appreciate it. If you have watched it and you haven't caught up on all the control streams, you could go to the live tab on my channel. All of the stream VODs, all the streams that your Skilly has ever done is located on the live tab on my channel. If you normally come to my channel, you're probably either on the home tab or you're on the videos tab. Go to the live tab, catch any of the games that I've streamed, the VODs. I know it's not at the exact same, but I'd really appreciate you watching the VODs too. 
if you don't mind. It helps out a bunch. And there's a ton of games that we have full played together. A ton of awesome games. So, anyway. I think that's it for me this weekend, guys. I will be back on Tuesday with another live stream. We will continue Control. I don't know how I'm going to wait, but I'm going to have to. we Because I got to record stuff on Monday so I can do edited videos next week. But on Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we will continue Control. I think we're getting close to the end of the main story, so probably... Tuesday, we'll finish the main story. And then Thursday stream, we will start working on the DLC. Next week, though, we're definitely finishing Control. I've been I've been doing almost close to 100% of it, I think. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.